Okay, we can get started. I think everyone's pretty much here. So we can get started. Close these windows. So aloha mai kako. Um, I am Kamaili. Mahalo for joining us um, this morning for our Pinina Weaving Relationships through Ulana Lauhala workshop. We are excited to connect with the community virtually, finding new ways to um, connect with the community. And this series is brought to you by our Mana i Maoli Ola workshop series, which is um, the through the Office of Hawaiian Affairs Community Engagement Division. Um, and just for, for your guys' information, this will be a recorded session, but um, it won't be made public. It will just be a private link. And then we will be emailing you the link so you kids can always reference back. So it's up to your discretion if you guys want to turn on your um, camera or you guys can leave it off, that's perfectly fine. So just a short um, run through to today's agenda. Um, we'll be going through introductions, um, an overview of Mana i Mauliola. Um, I'll introduce myself and my um, partner, Celia, and Kahea, which will be our kumu today. And then we'll, from nine to 12, we'll go over, she'll present on her, on Ulana Lauhala. Um, then we'll take a little break, a half an hour break for lunch. Then we'll get into it after lunch from 12.30 to around 2.45. We'll be working on our Peahi Lauhala. And then we'll go ahead and close up the workshop and we'll offer questions and answers. Um, and also we have a short post survey um, for you to take. After. And then if you guys have any questions, feel free to unmute yourself or raise your hand virtually or manually, um, or you can provide it in the chat and then we'll be monitoring the chat as well. So I'm Kamaili. Um, I was born and raised in Hilo. Um, I've been with engagement for five years this year. I'm, in, I'm a community outreach coordinator um, and I work out of the office, the East Hawaii office in Hilo. Um, the middle picture here is my ohana. I have two keiki, um, a teenager and a two-year-old, so lots of fun. Um, the upper corner picture is Hawaii Island OHA team. Um, we have a West Hawaii office and a East Hawaii office. Um, and then the other two photos are of me and Celia um, out in the community this past year um, during our events. So our offices are still closed um, and we continue to work, telework through home, but we're still able to assist you through email or telephone. So um, definitely reach out if you guys have any questions or need assistance. And then I'll go ahead and hand it over to Celia to introduce herself. Uh, my name is Celia. I was born and raised here on the Big Island. I've been working in the community for about six years. I've been with OHA going on two years now. Um, I have one Kiki. Uh, he's two years old. He just turned two. Um, this is my other half, Ipaika. He's also born and raised here on the Big Island. Um, yeah, thank you. Mahalo, Celia. Um, okay, so going over our Mana i Maoliola um, workshops. So these workshops are brought to you by a series of community engagement workshops, and it's really meant to strengthen the well beings of Native Hawaiians and help to build capacity in our communities. And our workshops are reflective of OHA's new 15 year strategic plan, which highlights these three foundations and four directions. So the foundations are Ainam, Omihio, and Ohana, and then our strategic directions, our educational pathways, economic stability, quality housing, and health outcomes, and how they all interwine and play a part of each other. Um, so the workshops are for the people by the people, so they're really tailored towards Native Hawaiian community needs and interests and talents. So definitely, if you guys have ideas or um, things that you guys want to share with the community, please reach out. Um, and if you want to learn more about the upcoming workshops or OHA sponsored events and things happening in the Native Hawaiian community, you can um, subscribe to our Kawaii Ola newspaper and our monthly e-newsletter. 
and then Celia will go ahead and provide that link in the chat. Um, and you guys can go ahead. And also the we'll provide the link to our strategic priority, our new plan. Um, in the chat. Before we get started, I just want to recognize and welcome our presenter, Kehalani Wilcox. Um, Kehalani was born and raised in Honaka'a and raised in um, raised in Waimea on Hawaii Island. Her background is in Hawaiian studies and her love for Lahala stems from being a hula practitioner. And she first, oh sorry. Oh gosh, wait, I lost track. Yeah, her, her love for Lahala um, started from being a hula practitioner where she first learned to weave. And she has been practicing Lahala for many years and she recently discovered her love for Lahala through her inherited skill, um, tracing back to her great grandmother, Lilian Pilahi Moimoi from South Kona. Um, so Kahealani honors her kupuna through the continuance of Ulana Lahala by sharing her valuable practice with others. So aloha Kahea and welcome. Let's get started. I'll hand it over to her. Ma pu kanuo kalaua e ma pu noi kapolio kawai aloha aloha ike kapa e hu kai hu ki palai hu ki lole noi kauna e noi mai la kale hua maka noi noi kale hua maka noi noi vivo ole ike anu anu ike ola ki papa ola e ala ike kuhi kuhi lima kana ko mauna hina e hina E hina no paha o au vale no, e hina no paha e kaua e ka ahanu e ali ala e he anu, he anu vale no e hui, aloha nui kako. Oh, mahalo um, to the team at Oha, mahalo Kamaile and Celia and the team at Oha for organizing this workshop for the community, uh, for friends and family out there. Um, yeah, um, o wau no o kahe Lenny Wilcox no waimea mai au, wahana wau ma honoka'a. Like Kamaile said, um, actually the hospital I was born in is right up, right up here. Um, I'm actually right below it. Raised for the last 33 years in Waimea. And um, I was actually raised on, on a, well, I'm gonna go straight into introduction if you don't mind. Um, I have a slide to share as well. A PowerPoint slide, but um, I would like to to go over introductions, and I have a a whole s bunch of screens going on in this classroom. So um, don't mind me as <laughs> we're getting technical here. Um, yeah, my name is Kahelani Wilcox, and I was actually raised on a farm, on a thirty acre farm. My family were, um, was farmers. My dad was the farmer in the family and my grandmother, my dad's mother. And being raised on the Aina, in the Aina, immersed in the Aina had helped me to, shaped me into building a relationship with the land and with the elements from a young age. And um, it stuck with me and I appreciate my family. I mahalo my family for you know, putting me out there in the dirt, <laughs> getting me dirty at a young age, because it really had shaped me into who I am today. Um, so I uh, went to Waimea Elementary Intermediate School and graduated from Honoka'a High School. And then from there, um, this is that's where my um, formal training into learning Ike Hawaii had started when I entered um, the Hawaii Community College right after high school. So I entered straight out of high school um, in 2006 at HCC and started in the Hawaii Lifestyles program, um, the hula track specifically. Back then in, at the Hawaii, it, at HCC, it was, there were, they had three tracks, um, Mahi Ai, Lava'i'a, and Hula. And um, of course I went into the, the Hula one. You would have thought I went into the farming one. Um, but I, you know, I, I had a deep love for hula at a young age as well. So I entered into the hula track 
under the direction of Taupuri Tangaro, who is my kumuhula. And I started my journey there. Um, and like Kamaile had said in my introduction, mahalo for the introduction. Um, my love for weaving had started in hula and specifically through Unukupukupu, um, the halal that I come from that stems from Hawaii Community College. Um, because we had to make all of our things. We couldn't go out and go buy it at, at Dolly's, you know, the Filipino store. We had to go harvest. We had to go um, learn. We had to learn how to make everything because we have the resources. Why not learn how to make it, right? Um, and so I, I had been with Unukupukupu from 2006 to present. Um, my training in, in hula to become a kumuhula had started in 2006, actually, I like to say. Um, but I graduated two years, the two-year program at HCC, and then I had been invited along with 10 others of my peers to undergo formal training into kumuhula, uh, uniki kumuhula. And that was an average eight-year um, experience and training. Um, and so we graduated in 2014, a class of 11. And um, we've been out in the community since then. And since graduating from University of Hawaii at Hilo with my bachelor's in Hawaiian studies and my minor in anthropology, I've been teaching I've taught in Kanu Kaina Public Charter School in Waimea. Um, we have some, we have a graduate, uh, a part of this class, this workshop from there. Kanu Kaina, uh, I taught in the uh, kindergarten class, the preschool class. And then later I, mo I moved on to, to the Hawaii Community College and I became a lecturer there. So full circle for me, um, being able to give back to the very institution that had, uh, fed me a lot of the EK that I know today. So I'm now a lecturer at Hawaii Community College, part-time lecturer. And I have, I actually taught this class last March uh, in 2020, right when the COVID had, had started. And we had to move this, this specific workshop on virtual. So I've had a little um, experience with doing this virtually, and I'm excited to share this with you folks virtually. And I'm here, I'm here now. And this is actually my first time venturing out into the community, um, teaching this art. Um, and I feel like it, I, I was ready. I felt like I was ready for it um, because of the years that I've spent, you know, doing it for smaller groups, you know, more, more private. Um, I had to build up that that confidence to do that. So mahalo to the, the team at OHA and everybody at OHA for, for this opportunity. Okay, without further ado, before I get into my slides, um, as Kamaile had mentioned, this is being recorded, but the re this recording is just for you folks, whoever is present on this um, workshop just for today, you guys are gonna get the recording. It's not gonna go out to the public um, I had requested for it not to, um, for reasons because, I, you know, in my, in my rearing, I had learned through hula that if you're going to learn something for the first time, it should be directly from the person you're learning from. And I, I learned that in hula, and I carry that on with me throughout my other practices as well. Um, but by all means, please share this with your ohana, being that you've learned it from me today. And, and in order to learn something well, to me, uh, I feel like you, you must teach it and teach it well. And you, have, you would have grasped it really well. So um, Kamaile had mentioned about the recording and I know some of you might not be comfortable being on the camera. I respect that. However, this is gonna be very interactive. Um, I really want you guys to be engaged in this workshop. Um, I would love to see your beautiful faces. <laughs> I see your beautiful names right now. Um, however, you're not, um, you don't have to come onto the camera, but what I would like to see is, is your process of making the, the lauhala, the, the fan today. And if you don't want it on your face, then you can just put it down onto to your hands, um, which is fine with me. Um, okay, just, just so I made that clear. 
I see some people jumping on. Aloha, everybody. Um, okay. So let's get started. How I like to, to do these workshops, you know, um, <laughs> aloha, is to get to know everybody. And I, I made the title Pilina, and Pilina means um, relationship, connection. And, and really, this workshop is not just about going home and you made a peahi. Yeah, it's more than that. It's how did you connect to it? How, what, is your, what is your relationship to the lauhala? Do, do, do you know the people that are on this workshop? You might even be related. Who knows? And, and so that's why I had uh, made that name, Pilina, is weaving relationships through ulana lauhala because I, my goal, besides getting you guys to finish a peahi, I hope that we can, you know, have a little just... It's like we're in a backyard we're in a, or we're in a garage under a tent or in the backyard under a tent or under a garage. We're kind of just wanting that sort of feeling where we're, um, you know, comfortable with each other and getting to know each other. Not saying you guys got to be best friends at the end of the workshop, but this is an opportunity to have to build networking, to build relationships with our community and for me to build a relationship with you um, at whatever capacity that is. And I know a lot of you are already on here, so... Um, from some family and friends. So mahalo to everybody. I just want to mahalo all of you, each and every one of you who have signed, registered for this workshop and taking the time on a Friday. I know it's a work day, but um, you know, a lot of us are working from home. And so it, it works out for some of us. So mahalo nui. Um, how I like to schedule this, this kind of workshop is uh, ho'olauna. So ho'olauna means to introduce each other. Um, and if you guys don't mind, I, I would, uh, you know what, let's popcorn. Everybody just jump in. Whoever wants to start first. I have a few questions. Um, the first one is, what is your name? Um, uh, where are you from? You can give me where you're born. You can, it can be two places, where you're born and where you live now. That, that could be two different places, but you share whatever you want. Um, what was the aina that had raised you? Maybe might be a better one. So where are you from? Um, have you worked with Lauhala in the past? And if you have, to what capacity have you worked with Lauhala? And I think that was it. I had to memorize my questions. So who would like to go first? Not everybody jump at one time. Okay, Eileen. Aloha, Eileen. Aloha. My name starts with A, so I always get to go first. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I'm. My name is Eileen Ye. My maiden name was Wong. I'm born and raised on this island. My family, my grandparents are from Kohala, and what else? I live in Hilo. I live in Waikiki now. And I, I've made a bracelet a couple of times at the conservation conference, but that was like hands on with the helpers, the teachers coming and checking me out and telling me how I was doing. And that's about the extent. Oh, awesome. Mahalo, nice to meet you. Thank you. Great to have you. Aloha. Aloha. Um, we uh, know um, but now we live here in Kohala. My boys are born and raised here in Kohala. And thank you so much for having this papa today. Um, Let me Oh, but he says he's from Waipio with our <laughs> Ohana Lu from Waipio. <laughs> um, and my only experience wasn't really with Lauhala, but weaving Harakeke in Aotearoa, the New Zealand flax. So that is our only experience. Mahalo. Aloha, Ina Keiki. Aloha, Kai. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mention it if you don't mind. Kai is the owner of Ho'olahani. 
and um, she has her her business out in Kohala. So it's a pleasure to have you in your ohana. Mahalo for signing up and having the keiki here too. Mahalo. <laughs> I'll be I'll actually going down to YPO after this. So I'm glad you mentioned that. Okay, ovai mai. Aloha kako. Ovao kia o makalapua a Lancaster. Uh, no ko'olau poko o ahu vau aka wa ne'i mai ka ohana i keia moku o ke awe uh, hei umi kumao no makahiki aku nei. Uh, ke noho nei ma ke oho, ma ka u. Uh, nui na makahiki uh, no ka ulana lauhala ma ko o vau o pio. A laila um, haoli loa vau e hiki ke ano hoomana o ho uh, pehea uh, no Laila, mahalo i ko um, a'o ana mai ia mako e kahialani. Mahalo nui. Oh, mahalo, mahalo. Yeah. Eli ke me ka'u, um, you know, the whole, the, the being able to, to remember things or in order to remember it, you got to keep doing it, right? And just like me, I'm, I'm going down to the valley today because I need a reminder on on making a box, lauhala box that I, was requested of me. So I'm going down with um, Auntie Lali Miraki, who, who was one of my teachers as well, uh, to help me remind me <laughs> of that. So I, I know what you mean. Many years uh, weaving in your, your youth, but it's good to have that reminder. So nice to have you, makalapua. Aloha. Ke ovai mai. Aloha. 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 I'm new to this, so I hope you hear me. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my name is Paul, and I was born in Africa, but raised in Paris, France. And I live in Kona for about almost seven years now. And um, this is my first time with Laohala. And I thank you very much. Bonjour. Aloha. Bonjour. <laughs> oh, wow. How awesome to have uh, you from Harry. I have been to Paris and it's just uh, a beautiful, beautiful place. So nice yeah. to have you. Paul, 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 how would I say it? Paul? It, um, I think the easiest would be Pauline. Pauline? Yes. Beautiful. It's easier. It's easier. And you know, I was um, working at the Hulihehe Palace before COVID, and my name was Paulele there. Oh. So oh. P A U L E, which is my name, and then we added L E, which I believe means faith, which is perfect for me. So, <laughs> but Paulette. however. however. <laughs> Returned your returned your French name into Hawaiian a Hawaiian yeah. name. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, mahalo. Nice to have you. Thank you for having me. Oh, bye, my. Aloha. Oh. Aloha. Uh, my name is Jane Jane Cross, and I I live in Kona. Um, I'm originally from Montreal, Canada. And, uh, and moved here, I moved to Calgary after that, and I've lived here now for almost uh, 11 years. And uh, I'm a big supporter in, in, of the Hawaiian language, Hawaiian culture. I'm uh, learning Olelo, but I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm by myself learning. I have no keiki, so, um, so I need practice. But anyways, I've, um, I've done uh, Laohala bracelets, and a little, a cute little box, um, just um, fun stuff. And but I really want to learn to do it properly and to be able to. Um, well, okay. So I grew up knitting, and I know you learn certain ways of wrapping and doing things with your wool. And I, I, and I know that the it would be similar in in Laohala. So I'm hoping to learn some new understanding of the way Laohala actually um, works with you. Mm. So, 
Oh, aloha, Jane. And thank you very much to everybody here for allowing me to share in this mana'o and uh, mahalo. Mahalo, ah. yeah. I like what you said at the end about how lauhala works with you rather than how you work with lauhala. You know, um, for, it's not for everybody and, and that's totally okay. And um, it's all about building that relationship with the lauhala and with every part of it. So nice to have you, Jane. Okay, I, I saw Kalama Hiva raising his hand. <laughs> aloha, Kato. <laughs> Hi, aloha. I'm Babe Konahia. Uh, this is Kalama Hiva, and we are joining in from Hilo, from my office. I'm at work. Um, <laughs> right. um, I know Kahelani from the Papahana, from Kahakaula. We took Papa Olelo together, and I dance hula now, and my kumu is her hula brother, who she unikid with. And I see a, a few familiar faces. My classmate from high school is on, too. Um, I have a little experience with Lauhala. We made, we made some coasters for Papa Semina. Um, and I made a peahi for um, that thing. At the college in Kona, PEL, was it called? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. I think I made up Yahi with, I forget his name, Marzan. <laughs> Hanale. Yeah, yes, yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. But that's all. Aloha, everybody. Aloha, eh. Konohia, ame kalamahiva. Thank you for tuning in today. Yes, yeah. um, that is another of mine that I am familiar with. So lots of familiar faces today. Okay, Any who's next? Who'd like to go next? Everybody's gonna go, so mahalo. Jamie, aloha, Jamie. Aloha, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Mahalo for having me here. I really appreciate this time together. And um, this is my first experience weaving mahala. Um, I met Kahealani as a kumu um, through the Kaoha program that my son was involved with through Kanaoka'ana. And uh, I always envied his <laughs> um, opportunities to work with Kahea. And I'm just so happy to be here. And I, um, I live in Kohala. I'm from Minnesota originally, so it was a good move, definitely. And I've been here since 2006, the year of the earthquake, um, and it didn't scare me away. So I think I'm here to stay. And I, I love going into the valley and I love walking um, along the cliffs at Keokea. And I see the beautiful um, Lahala and it's just, it's just there. And I just wanna work with it. I wanna play with it. I wanna do something with it. So I'm really happy to be here. And, and learning ways to use it, this plentiful resource. Mahalo. Aloha, Jamie. So nice to see you again. It's been years. Um, yeah, so I met Jamie, like she said, through through Kanu, and it was a pleasure to work with her and uh, her son and have him in my class and hope he's doing well. I haven't seen him for a while. He must be so big. Um, yeah, that, that's, that's the goal too, like Jamie mentioned, you see all these puhala, you see all these lauhala trees around your community. Um, if they're not spoken for, and if they're not on private property, um, why not malama that, that puhala, yeah? Okay, Kako, who's next? Ovai mai, I think we have a few more. Maybe, maybe more. Aloha, o luika kuui noa, no puna mai au. My picture's not up there. I don't know how to get it back. <laughs> I'm not so. Um, I've worked with Lauhala. Um, haven't it hasn't been a, it's been a while. I'm here in Leilani and in Puna, as you know, Tutupele has taken a lot of our Lauhala groves. We used to have the nice red Lauhala that is now gone. Um, so it's and the Lauhala that we have now, I guess some disease has kind of taken over. So the leaves don't grow as long as they used to. So now you have to pick plenty to just try to make anything. But um, yeah, I'm very honored and 
to meet you guys and to learn and to continue practicing. I too am a um, hula dancer. Uh, my kumu was Auli'i Mitchell. And um, yeah, that's it. Aloha, I'm sorry, your name on your on your on the Zoom says MacBook. Can you say your name one more time? It's Luika, but they call me Kipunahe Nahe. Luika. Yeah, I, I don't know how many times I've changed that Mac to Luika, but it goes back to Mac for some reason. So I guess I'm the Mac. <laughs> <laughs> Return of the Mac. No, yeah. um Luika. Okay, Luika. I just want to make sure I put names to faces in case I gotta say call your name for the workshop. Um, okay, Mahalo. I do know Auli e. Mitchell as well. How how beautiful. See the connections. Now I'm getting the connections. Okay. Oh, who? Oh, why my? I seen um, John Tay unmute. Hello. Aloha. This I John Tay Vincent. Um, I am actually originally from Oahu, but now I reside in the beautiful right now. Um, I do have a little bit of, um, Lohala weaving, but not much. That's why I have to get back in touch with it. Um, and that's it. Is that, did I answer all the questions? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, mahalo. I think it did. Uh, yay, nice to have you, John Tay. I, I met John Tay um, around the Mauna, 2019. So it's great to have you in the class and to see you again, to see a lot of your, all of your faces. So beautiful. Okay. Oh, my, my. We Paul. Okay. I guess we're good then. <laughs> Shall we move on? Anybody else want to introduce themselves? I think we got a um a hand up in the more was that Janelle? Oh, Kitty How. Hi, I don't know why my um, video is not working. I've been trying to fiddle with it this whole time, but it won't turn on. Um, but my name is Janelle Kai. Uh, Kahea is actually my kumu. And so that's how I found out about this um, class. And we're really excited. I'm here with my son. So if we do have to answer and it's a little loud in the background, it's because he's watching trolls and his videos. That's the only way I can keep him occupied to be able to do the class. <laughs> um, I've never actually worked with Lauhala before, so I'm really excited to learn, though. Oh, and um, I was born on Kauai. My family moved to Oahu. And um, ah! when I met my other half, I ended up moving here. To Waimea. I think that's, yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, to Waimea. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All good. Okay. Yeah, mahalo kilihau. Kilihau is uh, one of my students in my halau. My hello is Kaya Unu, based out of Waimea, and she's um, one of my students in the adult class. We started out in 2019. So nice to have you, and um, you're going to be the alaka'iya for the halal. Yeah, when we, when we learn this in halal. Mahalo! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> okay, anybody else? Aloha. Aloha. Oshile ko'uinoa no pa'uela mayao. Um, I currently reside in Hanaka'a. Um, half of my life was in Waipio. Mahalo to my husband and his family for the child farming and teaching me that. Um, mahalo to him for getting all these materials ready for us. Um, we have to plan one day so you can teach me that as well. Mm -hmm. um, I'm excited. Never did work with Lahal, of course. And thank you again. I'm really excited for this. Awesome. Aloha, Shelley. Uh, Shelley and I <clears throat> have been close friends for over a decade now, <laughs> many, many years. So it's so nice to be in this space with, with friends as well, who I've been, a, been friends with for a really long time. So nice to have you and your babies online with us. Okay, anybody else would like to introduce themselves? Aloha. 
Aloha. I'm the Thompson. Um, I was born and raised um, in Hilo. And uh, this is my first time leaving Laohala. Nice. Wow, jumping right into the fan for these first timers. Awesome. <laughs> Aloha, nice to have you, Natasha. We have um, Ipo in the chat. I'll just go ahead and read it for you, Ipo. Um, Aloha, my name is Ipo Avero. I grew up in Waimea, but now reside in Kauai High. Mic not working at the moment. All good. That's why we have the chat. Mic Kailoa. Nice to have you, Kuipo. I also um, know Ipo through Hula as well. So nice to have all of these familiar faces and meeting new people. Okay, before we move on to my slideshow, I'm going to give one more opportunity for people to introduce themselves. If not, we're going to holomua. Christian, aloha. <laughs> I was born on the island of Oahu, um, but my family quickly moved to Hawaii Island, and I, I call this place my home. I grew up in um, Kalapana. Um, I'm a student, a son, a warrior, and um, my relationship with Lahala um, is through uh, my grandmother. Um, she does lots of weaving. Anytime I've visited her, I've always been met with like all these beautiful um, crafts um, and just watching her. So I'm really excited to, to begin weaving and I, I hope this can start a journey of, of weaving of, of lots and lots of things and lots of mats of, lots of mats to sleep on. Bring it back, mahalo. Yes, um, Christian, Kalamai, can you say your um, you know Hawaii one more time? Kealoha Paole. Kealoha Paole. Okay. Hi. Mahalo. Great to have you. And yes, sleeping on Lauhala mats that you've made. That is one goal when I retire, actually. Okay. Uh, anybody else? I, re I think we're good, yeah? We might have got everybody. Okay. I'm going to start sharing. Um, do I have host ability? Um, Kamaile. I do. Okay. Yes, Kaya, you should have host ability. Okay, thank you. Know. Um, this is gonna take a, a, a few seconds, so bear with me while the screen pulls up. Can you guys see that full screen? Yes. Okay, beautiful. Oh, Paul, with that. Okay, so um, I really just wanted to acknowledge my inherited Ike through uh, Lauhala, and that comes from my great grandmother, Lillian Pilahi Moi Moi. Uh, she's from South Kona. And she is my mother's grandmother on, on, um, in the Kona, Kona side. So, you know, just recently, like several years ago, well, actually I started weaving uh, about over 10 years ago now. And just several years ago, I had discovered that, you know, Tutu Lillian was the master weaver in our family. And she had her, she, specialized in moena or lauhala mats and also made papale. But unfortunately, because there was a big lava flow and they lived, you know, in that pathway, all, a lot of her things were taken with the lava flow. So Tutu Pele decided to malama all of her things. And I'm happy it's with her, <laughs> with Tutu Pele. And, um, but however, there is one, one article that was left behind and my uncle is taking care of that, that small moena that she made. But I do recognize that this, this art and this craft, this hana no eo is inherited um, through my ohana. And, and I hope that, you know, throughout your folks' time today 
or even throughout the, the next several years, you guys might even discover on your, your own, going through your, your own family genealogy, if you, you discover that, wow, I'm really good at this, or I, this is my first time and, and I'm, I'm pretty good, then, then you, you know, it might come from a kupuna. That might be a kupuna coming through to you. It may have skipped a couple of generations before you, but generations later is going gonna, is gonna to pick it up. And, and thankfully and gratefully, that was, that was me <laughs> in my family. And I hope to pass this down to my, my kids as well. Um, I do want to mention that this Olalo no Eo, um, coming from the Olalo no Eo Hawaiian Proverbs book from America Venapukui, Aohepauka Ike Ikahala Hookahi, that not all, not all knowledge is taught in one school. You can learn from many sources. And that's what I am. I'm just one of many sources of this art of Lauhala. There are so, so many prestigious and renowned Lauhala practitioners across the Paiaina of Hawaii, across the you know, Hawaiian Island chain um, that have been weaving for generations. And um, I'm just one source. So this is just one way of, of making the peahi. This is not the only way, but this is one way and this is the way that I've learned through hula. You wanna just go through just a little bit, um, you know, the history of lauhala weaving. And um, so in the, in the earlier days in Hawaii, actually every household did have a weaver in the family. Um, like, um, like somebody had mentioned, um, you know, making mats to sleep on. Well, that, that's what our kupuna would sleep on. They would weave their, their, their bedding and you weave so much and you keep, you know, layering it that, and you, you, um, it's called the double weave and the double weave allows for more cushion. So imagine making so many moena and they actually say it's really comfortable. Some say it's more comfortable than an actual mattress. So there was a, a weaver in every family back in the day. Um, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to read all these bullet points. Yeah, you guys can. You guys can read them. But just wanted to to go through. That most important part was there was a weaver in every family. <clears throat> um, because of its abundance of accessibility, the lauhala. It is, this art had continued, um, continued on throughout the years. And, uh, Kalabai. Most weavers in the, old, the older days, uh, they were mostly women, but now it's so beautiful to see Kane getting into it and, and young, young men getting into weaving. So it's everybody weaves now, you know? In, in Hawaii. Um, Lahala baskets were woven in the 1930s to, for, um, to trade for food at plantation stores. Weaving culture is present in other places like the Pacific and, and the Philippines. If you guys have been to, um, you know, certain places that sell Lahala products, it says from the Philippines. So this is also present um, in other cultures, this practice. And if you have questions, again, just go ahead and put it in the chat or jump onto the mic um, and Kamaile or Celia will be monitoring the chat. Just a little bit of um, plant information. The common name, the English one is the screw, Hawaiian screw pine. Um, Hawaiian name, hala, puhala, and we'll go over those terms as well. Oh, the habitat. Um, it's rarely higher than 2,000 feet, so absolutely you would not be able to find this in Waimea. It's mostly down on lower coastal areas. Indigenous plant, um, the lifespan is greater than five years. So the wahine tree produces um, this pineapple shaped fruit, which is called the ahui hala. We'll go over that after. And the kane tree produce, produces a fragrant flower. How beautiful is that? The kane produces the flower. 
And the wahine produces the fruit. Um, the ripe fruits are also fragrant. Okay, so we're gonna go into different parts of the, the puhala or the lauhala tree to, for us to walk away today knowing how to address a lauhala tree. Yeah, and it's not just gonna be, after today, I'm, I'm hoping that we can take these terms. You walk up to a lauhala tree tomorrow and you can say, you can go ahead and, and, and um, identify the different names of the, the tree. So if we're looking at the entire tree, as in this picture, that's called a puhala. You guys don't need to unmute yourself, but say it on your end. Say puhala. Puhala. Beautiful. Okay. Entire tree, puhala. If you're looking at just the lau, that is, or if you're looking at just the leaf, that is the lau. That's called lau, everybody. Lau. And that pineapple looking fruit, that is called the ahui hala. Everybody, ahui hala. Ahui hala. Beautiful. And there are so many different colors. And I was happy to find this color. This is my favorite color. Um, there's some, some fruits that just have red, some fruits that just have yellow, orange, white even. And it all depends on where you go. And, um, where you find your, your, your puhala. Um, if you can see on that left-hand picture, there's individual keys. So each individual, you know, part comes off like a, like a pineapple. And those are, yeah, I, I just call them the, the hala keys. I've only known, known them as hala keys. But we, have, we also learned through hula to take off each key and string it for a lei for our graduation um, from Hawaii Community College from the, the, the tracks over there. So there's that way to make the lay through the keys or there's a special way to cut it. And you, you have to have many, many, lots of practice to, to master that cut. I haven't mastered it yet. I've made it before, but it takes years to, for me at least, <laughs> It may take somebody weeks, but to master that certain cut to make that nice halau halalei, um, yeah, it takes a while, but it's beautiful. So usually, um, now that we're on this section, usually the lau halalei's hala, um, can it, does anybody know what, what hala translates to? Maka olelo um, uh, in Hawaiian, what does it? What does hala translate to? Or one of the words, one of the translations. Hala, to transition to pass, mahalo. Yes, so um, pass as in like pass away or pass the time, the time had passed. So in this instance, you see a lot of people making hala lei for funerals to acknowledge and to, yeah, to acknowledge the person who had passed and transition, who is transitioning into the realm of our kupuna. Um, so if you see a, a lei made of this, it, you know that it had take many, many hours and most likely many hands to create a long lei um, for, especially for a, a ho'oleba, but not only for ho'oleba. You can make leis like this for a graduation because it signifies a transition from one level to the next per, uh, one person going from um uh one grade to the next grade yeah um aha maveke yes we also use that in our maveke ceremonies at hawaii community college um to to signify our transitioning and our you know the passing of of that um, school that you come from so many many meanings for using this type of lay okay the next part of the puhala is the ule ule hala the aerial root aerial roots okay hopefully my repeat after me ule ule hala ule ule hala Aye. um ule. you know you guys can Go on vehevehe.org and go look up what ule, 
means and there's a significant meaning for that and there's a um yeah go look go look go okay the next part is the hinano hinano okay hinano hinano all right and that's the flower of the kane tree the fragrant flower i rarely see this maybe because i'm not in the right uh area to find it but that's how you know that that tree, that puhala is a kane tree when you see the flower and that's how it looks like. Okay, any questions on the parts of the tree? Okay, moving on. Various uses, so, you know, this puhala, it's amazing how much stuff we can, how many uh, awesome things we can make from it. One of them was the um, making sails for the canoe. You can use the soft aerial roots, the ulehala, the ule ulehala of the wahinehala to make cordage. Um, the sweet or the fresh fruit tips were eaten in time of famine. I haven't tried that yet, but if there is any time of famine, I probably will. Um, the male tree, the wood from the male tree was used for ceilings of houses. And there's, you can make the leaves, which is what we're working with today. Like people said, you can make bracelets, baskets, moena, hats, uh, well, papale, earrings, bottle covers, pillows, doorstep, doorstops, and so much more. Like I said, the, um, the keys or the hala keys were made um, into a lay. Oh, and there's the meaning right there. Medicinal uses, the soft part of the male flowers were chewed up by mothers and given to infants and young children as a laxative. And I also haven't done this yet, but I've seen it. Um, the, the dried out hala keys were made into paintbrushes. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Okay. Um, now I want to just go over a, a several lauhala terms. There's actually so much more, but all the others relate to making a, a papale or making a purse, you know, which we're not making today. I just want to leave you guys with these terms so you can um, take this home and, and, and grasp it. You can grasp it today. So the first one is ho'opalupalu or to soften. Can you, can you repeat after me, ho'opalupalu? Oh, palu, palu. To soften the low. And I'll go over that um, today because some of you are going to have to, actually all of you, are going to have to do that softening process before we make our fan, our uh, peahi. Okay, number two, kihai, remove the thorns. Kihai. 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 Okay, number three, kuku or kokala, thorns on leaf. Repeat after me, kuku. Kuku. Kokala. Kokala. Those are the thorns on the side of the leaf. I have a video I'm gonna show you guys and they'll show it in that video. Okay, number four, ku. Ku. To stand. Yep, ku, to stand. Uh, number five, kua. 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 That's the mid rib. Number six, kuka'a. Kuka'a. That's the roll of the lauhala. I'll show you guys after. Number seven, lauhala, the leaf. Lauhala. Lauhala. Number, yep, my ka'i. Number eight, moi, to lie down. Moi. Okay, my ka'i. Number nine, po'o, the base of the po -o. leaf. Po'o. Po Hi, we also have a po'o. Same thing. That's the base of the leaf that's still connected to the tree. That side is the pole. Number 10, velau, velelau. Velau, velelau. Okay, that's the tip of the leaf, the opposite side of the pole. And the last one is ulana. Ulana. Plating or weaving, which is what we'll be doing today. Okay, so I'm gonna try to use these terms while we're making uh, the um, the peahi, so you guys can get ma'a with using the terms. 
as well. Oh, I think I see something in the chat. Oh, nice. Oh, awesome. Somebody had a paintbrush. Um, okay. We're, we're, we just have a few more slides and then we'll take a quick break. So I just wanted to talk through the gathering process and before we even, you see, we're not even touching the, the lao yet, right? Because there's, all of this has to be um, recognized first before even making anything. Um, because the hard work is done already and that was gathering and, um, hold on, I had something in my head, anyway. So the gathering process is, is the most important process and learning how to prepare. But, you know, obviously due to COVID, we can't get together and do these things. So um, we're adjusting and I have a video to show you guys that's on YouTube that you can reference back as well. Uh, Kalamai, I wasn't able to go out and gather uh, raw lauhala leaves for this workshop. So I just was able to find a video uh, for you guys to see that process. Um, because, you know, actually, in, back in the day, I've heard people say that lauhala weavers, the, the people that actually made the product, they focused on making it. While there was other people who were just focused on gathering and cleaning. And there's, there's, I still know people to this day who only gather and they only clean for the practitioner. Mm -hmm. However, you know, now, nowadays you see people doing it all and... And that's what I want to leave with you guys is the whole process. You know, like I said, there's so much pro uh, resources around us. Why, why not learn every part of it and, and be able to, to malama every part, every step. So um, before you guys go out and, and pick, first you got to identify, okay, where are these puhala? And, just, and, and you got to understand, okay, are these puhala already being taken care of by somebody. And how do you know? Well, uh, that's we're, we're having conversation with community, knowing people in your community, knowing the weavers in your community, and knowing which puhala that they already have, they're already malama at the moment. You know, you don't want to go and intrude on somebody else's space or maybe just um, kako'o them or, or kokua them, yeah? So identify those puhala out there. And, you know, before going out, throughout the whole process of lauhala, you must be positive. You must be in a good mental uh, space. You have, have, have good thoughts, positive attitude. Because believe you me, that kuku, those thorns are going to bite you. And I have had many experiences with the thorns biting me. And, and leaving me with pr pricks on my finger because I wasn't in a good space at the time. So through experience, um, yeah, you do wanna come to, to the tree with a positive attitude. Um, always asking permission. A lot of us are familiar with this, with this protocol already is, is asking permission to, to either enter into the forest to go pick, asking permission from the tree, the puhala to pick it and for some people in this workshop, you guys might have an oli for that. You guys might have a chant for that. And if you do, use the appropriate one. And if you don't, then that, that form of asking permission can come with, through just speaking your intention. You know, asking the puhala, oh, may I please uh, gather lao from you uh, to make a moena for my, for my auntie or to make a, a, a box for you know, somebody's ashes or, or state the intention and, and, and just sit there, um, wait, wait for an answer, whatever that answer comes in, whatever form. Um, to me, it's, it's all about feeling, feeling it in your na'au, being open to the elements around you. I like to say, like, if you're at the foot, if you're at the door of a forest and you're asking permission to go in, 
And then all of a sudden it starts, you know, there's a big gust of wind and a big log falls in front of your pathway. Well, that's a sign to turn around, come back another day. Listen to the elements, yeah? Just because we have two feet and we have four wheels doesn't mean that we're welcome everywhere. We have to ask permission to go into these spaces because it's not our home. It's not our home where we reside. And so there's other living, living people in these places. People meaning the animals, the trees, the plants, and that's their space. And so by giving respect to that space, that allows you to build that relationship with that space and maintain that relationship for many generations. Um, okay, so once, once you had been welcomed in, or not, but once you had been welcomed in, um, you do want to, first you want to uh, learn how to clean, clean the space. You're not just going to go in and start picking because most of the time, all the load that falls on the ground um, and it stays there, it starts to rot. And you cannot decipher which one is good, which one is bad. So you want to just clean that whole space and, and clear the, the aerial roots, the ule ule hala, from all the lau hala so it can breathe and it can still grow. And then after you clean that whole space, it's going to, um, all the new leaves will fall. And those will be the leaves that you want to gather or you can gather it straight from the tree. Um, you can use thick gloves just to, to, to grab the low. You guys will see it in the video. Um, for me, I learned to gather the brown low directly from the ground. I normally gather it from the ground, but if I see some you know, low enough for me to pick from the tree, then I'll pick from the tree. Um, I, this always stuck with me, um, uh, kumu, kumu hula in our, our hula, ohana, manai, manaya kalani kalua. I remember him saying that if, if you cannot reach it on the tree, it's not meant for you to pick. So don't go climbing the fence or parking your truck underneath. If you cannot reach it, it's not meant for you. So that stuck with me. I, I don't go out of my way to pick certain things unless it's a mango then I go get a mango picker or an avocado picker. Um, yeah, so the leaves, if you're picking it from the ground, it's most likely to have bugs inside. And uh, it's kind of a scary uh, sight if you're unfolding the low and you, you have a huge spider pop out at you. So yeah, just be careful. Um, you wanna grab each low from the tip because that's where the, the cuckoo or the thorns are, are smaller from the tip. And then you can tie it in manageable bundles that you can carry. Of course, before you leave the space, you want to mahalo the tree, the space, and whatever form that comes in with, whether it's a chant or you're just saying it. Now, how can you express your appreciation through oli, through mahalo, through cleaning the space, picking up rubbish? If there's rubbish there, make sure you bring a trash bag and, and just clean it all up. Yeah, that's, that's how you can mahalo. Mahalo and Malama the space. Um, the cleaning process, you want to make sure, uh, obviously, always have a positive attitude. Um, if the lao is super dry, you can soak it in either the ocean or in fresh water is good too. It helps to get rid of the bugs and to hold palu palu or to soften the lao, which prevents uh, it from cracking or breaking. Um, yeah, the, I kind of just talked about all of this already. They're going to show this in the video and I'll stop throughout the video for you guys to see that. How long do you soak it? You could soak it. Uh, you don't want to soak it too long to where it's going to get waterlogged. Once it gets waterlogged, then it's not of any use. So <clears throat> it, it all depends on how dry it is. So maybe like a couple hours, you might want to keep checking on it, you know, throughout every other hour or so. And just, just keep uh, taking it out and checking the flexibility of it. Okay. Preparing the kuka'a. Um, I can show you guys that on, on camera after. 
these are just some tools uh, to have if you're if you're really going to get into this practice and make it a lifestyle or make it a part of your household these are some tools that you can start to gather or buy and one place that I know of that sells it and actually has it on hand right now is Hanaho in Hilo. <clears throat> Auntie Michelle Zane, uh, that's her store out there. And sometimes she sells actual lauhala leaves. But before you go out and buy the lau, I highly advise to go out and, and, and try to make your own first. Just so you know that how much it takes. It takes a lot of hours, takes a lot of work and prep. Um, so the left picture you see is a block stripper. It just helps to strip whole leaves. And then inside the words of puka, you can put all your tools in there. That's kind of a cool thing to have. And then there's also the handheld strippers. Um, of course, a water, a spray bottle, scissors, and there's all these other tools too, but I'll show you guys what I have. Just wanted to show you guys just a few creations that I had made throughout the years. And that middle one is uh, my first moena or my first lauhala mat that I learned from the pukahis out on Oahu, Mahina and Cheryl Pukahi. We learned this in our Lomi, our Lomi class two years ago. Uh, it's part of our, our mea ho'ola or our, um, our Lomi things that we need to make in order to graduate from this class and making a moena was one of them. And this is actually the, the double-sided double weave moena, which makes it more thick and uh, comfortable. On the left, bottom left is, we're gonna be making a pe'ahi today or a, a lauhala fan. And some of you made bracelets, earrings. Any questions so far before we get into the video? I need to drink some water. Drink water, everybody. It's a long day. No questions. Okay. I hope this link is gonna work. Well, I guess I have a question. Um, yeah. Whether it's a mahine or a cane tree, we can use them both to make the same things, or is one better for this and the other better for that? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, throughout the for the wahine and cane, I I, I haven't found any much difference actually with the lao. So you, you can use both for, for whatever project. In my experience, like I said, okay. others may say different, but okay. I do know that there's different, there's lauhala that are thornless. And those oh. ones, those ones, some people advise not to use because they're not Hawaiian lauhala, but some people do use it because it's longer. The, one that, the ones that don't have thorns are much longer, which gives you more to work with. Yeah, there's, there's less adding. So okay. those ones you can find around too, but I haven't worked with the thornless ones yet, but I have yet to. Okay, okay can you guys, hello for that question. Can you guys see the YouTube video? Yes. Okay, good. Let's, uh, I hope the sound is gonna play, let's see. But the last thing you want is to make a bad first impression with a sticker that's hard to use. Could you guys hear that? Yes. Audio, okay. For me, it's been, I think, a learning process and uh, sharing and with the knowledge that I've been able to learn from all the master weavers. So um, just this, this video is of Auntie Michelle Zane and Kekai Naone. Auntie Michelle Zane is the owner of Hanaho, uh, that store that I had mentioned to, if you wanna get tools from there. 
and Kekai Naone is his student, um, Kolome, is her student, her weaving student for over 10 years now, uh, who is also a hula brother to, to me. And he just recently uh, unikied as Kumuhula as well. I have ours since gone. It's my commitment that we would make sure that we would perpetuate this tradition. Um, sharing the knowledge with everyone that wants to learn is, is my journey. When we live in such a throwaway culture, I think there's value in making our own objects and repairing and passing them down. Uh, Kuleana, I guess, to keep these family practices alive. My name is Kekai Naone. I've been weaving for 10 years. My Kumu is Kumu Michelle. My name is Michelle Zainfuridi. My first Kumu is Leona Komoku. And I've been weaving a little over, I would say about 20, 25 years. For me, I always loved the items that I've collected over the years, hand-woven hats and purses and items that were utilitarian in my home. But I never dreamed that I would learn how to weave one day and found it was, yeah, definitely one of my passions. We can see that a lot of emphasis with people who've been weaving for a long time is put onto care of the puhala and cleaning it because um, if you don't have it, what are you weaving with? When you have a better understanding of the process of um, how to care for the plant and how to clean the leaves and how to um, get it to the point where you're ready to weave, the amount of care that you put into your weaving in the long run will show because of that whole process. Just all the leaves, all the lao that are on the ground, we took them away from the tree because it was all, all over the roots and everything. Um, made a pile and then picked all the brown leaves that were hanging and um, so now it's like reset ready to now you know like when the leaves start falling they're good yeah it's not really written a lot of it you have to go and really actually experience it yourself and it's through time and a lot of experience that you understand the various things that you have to pay attention to mm -hmm. It really depends where you live, where you're going to use your product. And I live Makai, right near the ocean. And I prefer Makai because the lao that I use in my home is acclimated. So it's, it's just really works well. I usually like to pick the ones that are still on the tree, that are brown, but not completely dry. So I pick it early and I clean it really well. And then I loosely roll it in a kuka'a and I put it in a dark corner and I let it dry for several months. And that's where I would be assured that the leaves are really uh, good quality when I'm using it for weaving. So after we pick the lao and we have all the good ones that we want to use, then we cut um, the lao to the usable sections. So usually for the tip where the lao bends is where I cut it. So right where he cut there was the ve lao, that's the tip. And people cut it differently, but uh, he liked to cut it at the bend because usually after the bend it's, it's rotted or, or get puka. Because um, the part after that is usually really thin and mildewy where it's falling apart and then the base um is usually really thick so we go like about a foot so then after you cut off and that part was the pole that part is uh the part that's connected to the tree the head and the tail to have the usable section um you strip off the kokala on the sides the thorns um about like a quarter inch strip because I don't have it here to show you guys, um, <clears throat> you see how the ko the kokala or the cuckoo are going in one direction, and she's going uh, with the cuckoo, um, and that starts from the po'o. So the thorns start from the po'o, and they go all all the way down towards the ve the velelau or the velelau, 
and the, the thorns all go down that direction. So you want to start to key high or to um, uh, strip like a quarter inch from the po'o after you cut off both ends from the po'o down to the velau, just like that. Some people use gloves because unless you, you're really good at it and you can get it in one strip, then you won't get uh, bit, I guess. You won't get poked. You would take off. So you do that to both sides of the lao, and then you use the another tool or just your fingers to take out the kua, which is the midrib that has thorns on it. And then it's rolled onto ohe, the bamboo roller. Um, to flatten out the lao. Okay, so this part, um, there's two ways that I know. Either you're stripping out the midrib and taking it out completely, or you also remove the thorns from the midrib. So I learned the removing of the thorns from the midrib with a towel, a damp towel. I learned that from Auntie Lolly. And you're starting from the velau. So you start from the tip, you make your towel thick, and you just wipe off all the thorns all the way down up to the pole. And that removes the thorns. So you can keep the entire lao rather than having two sections. So it all depends on what you prefer. Usually the center, sometimes that's how it, you get bugs in the kukahas when you're storing the lao. So that's why I remove the center before I store it. When I roll it, I roll it backwards with the outside facing up. Um, that way it helps to kind of flatten and smooth out the leaf because usually with, they're curled inwards. Before you even weave, you should put in a kuka for at least a week and it will flatten the lao properly before you can actually use it. <clears throat> if I really took a lot of care in harvesting my lao and picking the right type of lao, my end product will last many years longer. Like anything else that we do, like going camping, you you go to the place and you 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 leave it better than when you when you first came. And, and so that's the same thing I do with the tree. You leave it in better condition than when you first went there and got something from it. Okay. Mm. All right, thank you. Mahalo, Auntie Michelle and Kekai. Any questions on the, that whole video? Um, follow me. Not that one. Okay. Um, okay, so this is another link. The second one, you guys can go, go home. I mean, not go, you guys are home. You guys can watch this link later. This is from a, a workshop series, not a workshop. It's from a series that Ahakane had put on. It's called Hehue Viola. And in this link, um, Cody Puel Pata, a Kumuhula and a Lauhala practitioner, and also Kaeo Aizan, who is a Lauhala practitioner. Um, they speak about their journey and their experiences with Lauhala. So you guys can watch that later. It's kind of a long video, but I wanted to leave that for you guys. Um, okay, right now we're gonna take a short break, uh, bathroom break, go get some sun. If there's sun in your area, go feed your kids and we'll come right back and then I'll, we'll get into prepping everything, okay? If there's any questions, let me know. Thank you.
We'll jump back on at 1035. So about two more minutes. Make sure you have all your um, just your Ziploc bag with your things in it. You need a scissors. You're going to need if you have one. Um, you, you'll need a, a little spray bottle. Something that can keep your your low moist. If you don't have a spray bottle, that's OK. The, the low should be able to last. Um, and also a, a cloth or a, um, a rag as well. So yeah, a couple more minutes and we'll come back. Wet rag or a dry one? If you can wet half of it and leave the other half dry. Okay, thank you.
Okay, so I have um, I have a few screens up over here, so I'm able to see this one that you guys can see right now, and just would be good if I could see your guys's uh, side as well, so so I can keep uh, keep track of where everybody is at. Everybody's gonna be at different levels, so um, everybody just you know just be patient with each other, be patient with yourself. Be patient with your surroundings. If things start to get um, frustrating, you know, take a take a take a quick break. Go walk outside. Get a get a drink of water or something. Don't stay in that frustration. You know, um, just reset and and come back. Yeah, to it. But we're gonna try and lessen all of that uh, throughout the time. So. Just wanted to go over, is everybody ready to start? Wanted to go over some of the tools first. Okay. Wanted to go over some of the tools and then we'll get started to prep our, our love. Um, so this is a Lauhala stripper that I use to strip all of your folks' low that you have right now. You can find this one at Hanaho. And these are spacers. Uh, I learned to cut up old like cards, uh, credit cards or whatever kind, no, I don't know about credit cards, but whatever kind of old cards you have, those can be used as spacers too. Just use whatever you have, or you can make your own spacer. So there's different sizes. And if you, if you move the spacer, uh, you see how the, the blades are right there. You can move it to be smaller, so you can have a smaller low or even bigger to have like a one inch or a half inch or a quarter inch. All depends on what you're making. Yeah, the smaller, the more tedious the work gets. These are um, tools that you use to go. I think some of you have made bracelets. I don't have one with me right now, but you use it to go underneath the low and to, to grab it, to pull it through so that you can lock, you can lock in the low. So this one is a good one to have, especially for bracelets. Okay. This one is to, uh, I know I'm saying this on that one, but I don't have names for them. This one is to like feed, feed, uh, ac access into, into, um, the folded low to, to lock it in. Okay, so something like that. You guys can make something like, or you guys might have something like this and it's flat, it has a flat tip. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is the one that Kikai was using in the video to strip the middle of the low. This is my softener. It's a, actually in a, an ice pick, but I'm using it because it has rounded off um, uh, square edges that help me to soften it. I just use whatever I had. I didn't go and buy anything. And that's the beauty of just being creative. I like to have a pile of um, clothes pins because if you're, when you work at Lohala, you gotta like lock in some folds and there's a whole process. So it's just nice to have that too. These scissors, the more smaller fine tip scissors are good for going in and you're cutting like real fun. This is an old fan, so don't worry, it's not gonna look like this. It's been through a lot. Um, going through and just cutting real small, small pieces and getting more fine cuts in there. So this is also a good one to have if you're really gonna get into this practice. But for now, regular scissors is gonna work for today. Um, this is where I store all of my blades in here and it, it, you know, it's just safe in there. Yeah, so for today, this is basically all we're gonna, oh, all we're gonna need. Just wanted to show you one thing that I've made. Um, this is called a pale for the ipu when we um, ho'opa'a or ipu or, or play the ipu. This is a protection so it doesn't, you know, uh, crack. But I learned how to make my pale from Auntie Lolly Miraki. We, she is also an Uniki graduate in my class with, along with Pele, 
um, like, like Konohia had mentioned. And she was uh, really my first teacher. I just wanna acknowledge her in this space, Auntie Lali Meraki. She's also on the committee for the um, Kona Lauhala conference that they usually have every year, but they haven't had for the past two years because of COVID. But um, yeah, mahalo to Auntie. I wanted to show real quick, this is my moena for the Mailomi class. This is the double-sided double moena. I'm taking it down to the valley with me because I, I need a refresher on how to close it. But this took some time, and, you know, whenever I had time, I just keep weaving. That is a whole nother class and that, that's gonna take more than a day. Anyways, um, but today we're making a peahi. And this is the fan. So in your toolkit, you guys will have your already gathered ohe. This strip of wood is called ohe. Ohe is bamboo. And I had this drying out for quite some time now, for a few months. So you want to use bamboo. Um, traditionally, you the mid rib or the, the stem in the middle it was ohe. Some people use like paint paint, uh, what do you call those, mixtures. But, uh, you know, we have the resources, why not, why not use the ohe? So you, when you gather ohe, there, that's a whole nother workshop, I feel like too, in gathering ohe. And, and you wanna pick it and then let it dry out. Cause if you use it straight from picking, it's gonna mold and yeah, mold is not good. So I cut it down you know, harvested this months ago, like I said, and I didn't know I was gonna have this workshop months ago. So it came in handy for this, so mahalo, uh, for putting it to use. But I cut it down to the size we're gonna use it. So you guys don't need, shouldn't have to strip it anymore. But what I did use, um, I used a uh, machete. If you do not know how to use a machete, please do not use the machete, get help from somebody. Um, seek somebody who, who is good at it. But the machete I used to split it in half, you know, from here, I split it all down. There is also a bamboo splitter that you can find on probably on Amazon um, that helps to just split it all in one size. Or, and then when you, when you get it down to, after stripping, then you can use an exacto knife uh, to, to strip the edges. So that was the process just for the ohe. Um, you also have one large strip of love, just like this. Yeah. And I'll show you what this is going to be used for in just a second. And then you should have, so you shouldn't have soaked it or anything. Just left it in the bag as, as is. You should have 10 they're in, they're in groups of two, but there should be 10 altogether strips. That should be more than enough for you folks to make your peahi today. Okay. Um, any questions so far? Okay, before we move on, just wanted to share, since I have it out, this is a kuka'a. This is a really small one. They get really, really big, but it all depends on how much low you gathered. So for this one, I um, just want to show you guys how, how I learned to make the kuka'a. So you're basically just like starting from the middle. Oh yeah, sorry. Some Okay, so some of you might not have this piece and that's okay because I'll show you how to put it in afterwards. You know, I had to create 25 kits or 26. So some of you might, might be missing this. And I had remembered to put it in the other night and most of you have it, but if you don't, it's okay. There's a way to put it in after. You just gotta go get the low. You start in from the middle, you're just making, this is for the kuka'a. After you had stripped it, you cut the po'o, you cut the velao, you strip the, the kuku. Okay. This is going to be 
this middle part here. So you're starting from the middle and you're gonna, you're gonna take your next low. And I like to add in I like to add in from the, the po'o side. So you know the po'o side is gonna be the thicker side and you just put it in here. Yeah, so you stick it in there and then you just keep rolling and creating your kuka'a just like that all the way down to the tip. And you just leave that much and then you just keep putting in. So that's how you make your kuka'a. You kind of make it as like nice and tight, secure, and then you can store it like this. Okay, let's move on. Any questions on that? Okay, so first things first. Yeah, you need your scissors. If you have a spray bottle, that's great. Sorry, that wasn't on the list, but if, if you don't, it's okay. The, the lao should be good to last, but um, if you do, then you can use it. So you might, you wanna grab something that has like a soft edge like this, if you have anything, because what we're gonna do is start to soften our lao or try to make it not curly like this. You see how it naturally falls into a curl because I had it inside the, Lock. So go ahead and, and strip off the, the two. Yeah, you can take them off. And you're going to work with one at a time. Okay, so if I'll give you guys a couple of minutes if you guys got to go find. Um, yeah, I see some of you already doing it. So what you want to do is start from the, I normally just go from the po'o, soften that side trying to make it straight and not curly anymore. So just go like a ribbon. You know how you make a uh, wrap ribbon for gifts. Don't use the scissors though. Don't, don't use a sharp, sharp object because it's going to break. You guys have just enough lao to make this peahi. I didn't put extra peahi uh, lao inside. So try to um, be very gentle with it. Don't pull it too hard. Okay. So now you see that it lays straight. How did you get the first strip off? Do you unroll everything? Yeah, just unroll it all. Okay. Yeah, and then, yeah, just take two at a time and take the two off. Oh, I see. So, okay. Yeah, just do that to all 10 low so that they sit flat. You want to do this because when once you start making your peahi, you don't want all of the curlies to get in your way. You see what I mean when we start making it. One, one strip through should be good enough. Make sure you keep a nice clean space and you have something. Sorry, I forgot to mention, but if you're working on the ground, or just any any kind of space you want to make sure you have like a pareo or towel down just it, it's a pale or like a protection from you know the ground or whatever you're working on
How you guys doing? I see you guys. Did you, saw leave, did you leave the two strips connected? So you can start taking them off. You see how they're off right here? Oh, okay. Yeah, you're going to just use the individuals. Looking good, looking good. I see a baby in the hand. Awesome. Okay, so this process, can somebody remember what, what this is called? What, what is the Hawaiian word for this? Ho'opalu palu. Oh yeah, yes it is. Ho'opalu palu, to soften to make it um, pliable. One of the pieces got kind of split. Yep. That's fine. You can go ahead and take the take it off, split it, um, split it all the way down, just carefully. How are you doing? Good. Good. My so, kai. Kai. How much is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here. Just go ahead and um, give me a thumbs up if you're done, so I know who we who we can. Don't rush, but just want to let just to see who's ready. Oh. Okay. Cool. I think I'm good. I use this. Somebody gave me this guava stick bottle, fish scaler, I think. It worked pretty good. Oh, awesome. Nice. Using the resources you have around <laughs> yeah. you. Good. Where is this Lohala from? The one that you guys have and the one that I'm working with right now. This was my stash that I actually brought it home from Tahiti. When I went to Tahiti in 2019, I bought two rolls. They also sell this at Hanaho. It's like hundred and something dollars. But um, that's why it's all like nice and, nice and white or one color. Their process of preparing the lao is different in Tahiti. 
it's a nice process, but um, it was much cheaper just to buy it straight from Tahiti. So I had the I had this kuka already, but um, what I did was um, just strip it strip it off for you guys. So yeah, just came home from Tahiti. <laughs> Usually I go pick in Kona. There's some trees that uh, Puhala that I I know of that are the same color and they're kind of long. Yeah, in Puna, Puna is Puna has some really um, like beautiful Lauhala groves out there too that you can check out. Oh, I just seen the chat, Kalamai. Okay. Pretty much almost everybody's there, yeah. Okay. If we didn't get that bigger piece, well, I yeah. have, actually have some lohala here. Can you just show it really fast so I can try and yeah. like make something or cut something? Okay, so what that piece is for, you're gonna measure um, mine's is mine's is shorter because I just used whatever I had left. But you're gonna cut a piece that's gonna fit around your your entire ohe like that. So pretend that it went all the way down. But essentially, it should be cover the front and back of your ohe. Can I play it? Wait, wait, I gotta. So does yeah. that piece have the like the mid rib part in it? No, or? no. Yeah, no, no mid rib. Oh, it's really fat. So I used I used the part that's closer to the po'o, so it's a little thicker. Okay. I actually have a kuka from Puahine too, and it's like the same color. But oh, so I'm wondering, like, do we just cut? Yeah. Like, so go ahead and strip. You see that that one low that you have? Strip it. Um. Here, let me show you. I'm gonna grab one right now. So you see, you're gonna strip the middle like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, mahalo, kiliho. Um, and then you're just gonna use one, one, um, side. one yeah, one half of that. Okay. Use, use a thicker side. Okay. Mahalo. Okay, for those who are finished, and those who are not, don't worry, I'll go over it again. What you want to do is I didn't I didn't prep this part because I figure you guys can um, experience this uh, one one section of the stripping. So what you want to do is try to get this thick uh, piece the same width as your ohe. So once you figure out the width of the ohe. Just gonna make a, a strip like like how I'm doing here. Once you get that strip, just gonna like run your finger down, and it usually will stay even throughout the whole strip down, and it should cover the front and the back of the ohe. Mine's is short it because I had to use whatever was left but it's okay this is going to be the handle you're not going to see anything the reason why we're doing this is because you see right here this is where the ohe would have would have been exposed so if you don't cover it then you're going to see ohe but for those who don't have it it's okay I'm going to show you after how to just 
Plug it in after. And you might have an extra strip. You can save that for later. Put your paw at this. Um, yeah, hold on one second. So there's actually a way to, uh, for this Tahitian lau, bolt the, the, um, the kua, the back, and the alo, the front, kind of look similar. So um, there's actually some lau out there that you can definitely tell which one is the front and the back. But for the ones that you guys have right now, um, it's kind of a slight difference, but mostly similar. So in order to tell which one is the kua and which one is the alo, hopefully you guys can see that. It's not too blurry. How would I say this? Um, okay, one second. So some, most, most times the alo, the front is more shiny than the back. The kua is gonna be more dull, but it, like I said, it's a real slight difference, but you wanna make sure that you're working the, um, the face of the, the low is gonna be facing up, yeah? And not, not underneath, because if, if, you, if you switch it underneath it, the whole, the whole thing's just gonna be the, the back, so. Um, like I said, you just gotta look at each one very carefully and just determine which side is, is more shiny than the other. You might see some like, um, you know, uh, what do you call this? The different textures, one side might be smoother than the other side, which is more uh, rigidy. The side that is more rigidy usually is the front. The side what that is more- a slight kind of curve or a tendency to curve. Uh, of which part? Of the leaf. If it would curve, you know how leaves usually they, before we, un, oh. before we softened it. Yeah, exactly. Could, yeah, which would be right. the. So, so the way that it was curved, say, say like you guys had it like this before. Yeah. So, so the, the curved part, like this side would be the bottom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the opposite side is the top. So you can, that's why I kind of just laid it down like this. So I, I kept track of that. Sorry, I didn't mention that earlier, but just slight things to keep in mind if you do this again. Okay. Everybody pow with the whole palu palu process. Yeah. Yes. Okay. We can move on. How's everybody with, with their cameras off? Are you guys good? Some of you I haven't even seen from the beginning. How are you guys doing? Yeah, thumbs up or something. Okay. That's good. Okay. So now, same thing. You want to make sure your, your, your front of this piece is facing out. So just go ahead and prep your, your handle. We're gonna start with the handle first. You don't need to do any spraying at this moment. If it's really, really hot and dry, um, and you start to feel it cracking, then you wanna give it a little spray, but only in the space that you're working. Don't spray the whole out. Um, if you guys have, if you guys have AC and, and you're, you're in AC and you, you can turn it off. I, I prefer not to work in AC because that causes the low to, to get really dry and to crack quicker. Um, if you guys have some windows and can open it, that'll be better. But if not, just use your, um, spray bottle. Okay. So just get that on top of the ohe, leave that there for now. And we're gonna work with 
two, we're gonna start with two low. So grab two of your low. Oh no. Yeah, grab two, but we're gonna start with one. And your the outside, the alo is gonna be facing out. So what you wanna do is, is take half of that, find the, the middle. So what I like to do is, is go all the way down until they're the same. You know, you can't cut this off just so there's less. You wanna keep, you see all of this, um, you know, um, Opala, keep it in one pile on the side. And that's gonna be put back in the aina. Please do not throw any Opala, any cut pieces away in the trash. We'll take care of that outside after. So what you wanna do is find the middle, okay? And I just went all the way down so that both sides are even, you see? You can tell which side is the po'o and which side is the velau. Obviously the po'o is more thick, the velau, the tip is much thinner. So once you find the middle, okay, do that for the second low. Okay, now you have two like this. It's okay if one is longer than the other. Yes. Okay, thank you. So what parts are you cutting off? Is it where they're not the same width? Yeah, so normally, so that's gonna be at the tip. Yeah, so you, you, can, you can start to just cut that off. Some people leave it, but it just makes it look cleaner while you're working with it. You can cut off that end or leave it, it's up to you. But main thing is you find the middle. Okay. It's kind of, I'm trying to watch all of you, make sure. Uh, so, so all mine is like this. Can you see, wait, where is it? Where's my camera? If one is skinny. Oh, that's fine. It's okay. Yeah, just leave it like that. Just okay. find the middle. Okay. Do we fold it with the shiny side out? Or? Yes. Okay. The alo or the face, the shiny side always facing out and facing you. Yeah. So the, the kua or the back of the low is always going to be um, touching the ohe or, um, yeah, on the, not face, on the bottom. We do it too, all of them or just two of them? Just two. Okay. I'm just waiting, waiting for everybody. I think most of you are done. I can see some of you. Uh, not moving around, which means you're ready. <clears throat> I'm gonna try and not have to backtrack and just make sure we're kind of all on the same uh, step. If it's a bit uh, split at the top, like so, is it better to cut it right here? Or if it's Save it. Maybe? Okay. Yeah. Oh, you know what? If it's split, uh... mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe maybe because it's a little bit like that. Um, cut it. You can cut it off just so it doesn't keep splitting. Yep. So just to so let you guys know, these are all uh, half an inch, or yeah, are these half an inch. Pretty sure these are half inch strips. Measure this. Yeah, these are half inch strips. You can, I've also seen people use, uh, I've made lauhala with like one inch strips, but to me, I wanted, it, it looks more, it gets more like tighter and I like it when it's the smaller low. So you guys can use smaller or bigger, totally up to you, but these are half inch. Okay, let's move on. Next step, take one of your low, 
Okay, what you're gonna do, we're gonna make, we're starting over here at the bottom. So you're gonna take the top and make, make a this. <laughs> it's like a, uh, make sure that it's a 90 degree angle. So the, the top of your lao is going all the way to the right and the bottom one is going all the way up. That's one side, okay? Again, the top side is going to your right. The bottom is going straight up. Okay, now for the next one. This is gonna go the opposite way. So now the top is gonna to go to the left. Bottom still straight up. So now you have two pieces that look like this. Yeah, that looks good, Ipo. Is that John Tay? Yeah, okay. Lei Ui Oh, beautiful. Looking good. Okay, I see yours, Jamie. Yes. Mekai. Shale, nice. Okay, Pole. Polele. Beautiful. Um, Is the alo for the, when it's sitting, is it the one going to the right and the left facing up? Yes, the alo is facing right for the right side, and the alo on the, is going to the left for the left side. Is that, does that answer your question? Yes, alo. Okay, next step. Okay, hold on. Let me do this off camera real quick. Okay, I got it. Okay, so now you have the right side and the left side. Now the right side is gonna go, fall right into the left. Let me do that again. Okay, right side, left side. Right side is gonna fall right in to the left, just like that. Now you have two going to the right to the right and two lao going to the left. Anybody need a hanaho? I see hanaho, please. Yeah. Hanaho, hanaho, okay. So this is this is what we have. The right side, left side. Right side is gonna go. You're gonna slide that right in the right side, right into the left and make sure that they line up. So now you have two to the left, two to the right. Okay. So it's important that you guys get this step right here so that you can follow along exactly like how I'm doing it. Because if it's the opposite way, then you guys are gonna get, it's gonna get all hemorrhaging. Like you're not gonna understand what I'm talking about. So make sure that the right is going into the left, not the left into the right, right into the left. Okay, I think that's, uh-uh. Okay, so. So just, just a disclaimer, 
the handle, most practitioners would agree that this is the most difficult part. After the handle, simple. Okay, so once we get through the handle, we got through the hardest part. So pay really close attention and I wanna make sure that everybody's there. Drink water. <laughs> Cause I gotta drink water. Try not to go like steps ahead of me and figure it out. Because if we got to backtrack, then I'm going to let you guys figure out the rest. Okay. I see most of you looking at the screen, which tells me you're ready. <clears throat> but don't worry, I'll go back for those who aren't ready. So, like I said, we're all at different levels, and that's cool. So, this is where all your fingers need to be engaged. Pinky, every single person over here needs to be working. So you got to make sure if you guys want to, you know, normally I wouldn't, but because this is a beginner, you know, course, like you can tape, like tape this down so it stays. Because if not, you got to like make sure it doesn't move around. But for me, I'm not going to use tape. I'm just going to just do it without tape, but I'm gonna give you the option to tape it down and um, tape it on the inside so you cannot see it. So it stays paw, but <clears throat> if you're not using tape, then we're gonna, we're just gonna move right on. Okay, so try to watch this part. So we're gonna carefully open this part up, the bottom. Oh yeah, so make sure that the top you get the fold on the top and the, the open part, the lauhala is open on the bottom. So the bottom is gonna slip right into here. Okay. I gotta put this in after because mine's is short. But yeah, so ours would be covering the bottom, yeah. Yes. Okay. This is where it gets a kind of kind of tricky. Um Okay, so what we're trying to do is get um, each corner. Hang on. Bear with me as I'm trying to talk this through and do it at the same time. Okay, so. Hang on. Okay, so what we're trying to do is make sure that, you know, the, the corner are, the corners are, are equal to the, the ohe, like the, the width of the ohe. Okay, so this is the front. The front is always going to be the front of the ohe. The back is obviously the back that has the skin. So we're always going to be you know, doing our moves from the front, but we're, we're also gonna be flipping it around too, so. Okay, this is where, it, this is where you guys gotta start to memorize this, this process right here, because after you get the first wrap, it's just gonna be repeating itself. Okay, so. I'm gonna wait till all of you are, have it paw here, okay, and pinch it here so it stays. Some of you got them already. Awesome. Um, so the front is covered, but the back is as covered. Can you show it on your camera, please? So this would be the front, sort of. Yeah. But the, but the back, I only have half of it. Oh, you see, okay. So you gotta make sure that it's, you see how mine's is, is going uh, outwards. So you see it's, it's covering the base. And if I flip it over, same thing. It has to be like two facing to the right, upper right, two facing to the left like this. So that's where you gotta, you gotta just kind of maneuver it. Oh. Yeah, just 
This is where all your fingers gotta be engaged in. <laughs> Trust me, once you get past the handle, it's 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 a lot easier. So be patient with the process, be patient with your low. Don't don't um try not to keep handling the low so much. Like once you get it set, leave it there because you guys only have just enough to make your piahi. You guys don't have extra. So yeah. Next step, who, who's ready to move on? Okay. One, two, three, K, four, five. Uh, yeah, if I don't see anybody like asking questions or I see you guys holding it up, then we're ready to move on. I can always come back too. So for those who aren't ready, don't, don't, don't rush. Okay, next step. Uh, hold on, I see some people still working. So let me double check something real quick. Just gotta do it backwards. Yeah. Okay, so now what we want to do, this is, um, wrapping. Hold on my guys, one second. All right, I had you guys put it in the left side. This is going to be the opposite of what I had. Okay, so take it that most of us are here. Okay. Yeah, are we all there? I know a lot of us are waiting. Hello, Mike. Um, Who was that? Uh, I think I think mine is going the opposite way. Like this one and that one. I think it's the other way. If I look at yours. 
Step up, um, can you take out, take it out, take it completely out. And go back to the first step. So you have the way that you folded it, um, you gotta go back. And put the right in the left. Make sure you're working on a flat surface. Yeah, you're not holding it up in the air. So you can get the angles. When you're folding it like this, um, make sure that you have this 90 degree. You see that? Yeah. Let me put my camera down a little. Yeah. So once you get that 90 degree, you have to keep that crease there. Okay. And once you get that crease there, then you're just going to put the right side, slip it right into the left side. Now you're working with basically one. They become, the two become one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, hey, going back into here, get your, get your ohe situated in there. It's okay. Practice will, will make better. Don't, don't think you got to get it perfect. Yeah, just get the, make sure you get the process. You don't have to get it so perfect this time around. But if you can, that's good too. Make sure you get the, the different steps. Okay. This is also being recorded. So we're going to move on. You guys okay. can reference back later. Okay, next, next step, we're going to um, see this top, the top right. You're going to wrap it around and under. Now you have one to the right and you're going to have three sticking out to your left. This is the image you have. Okay. Again, like I said, make sure your fingers are, are some of your fingers got to just keep the, keep it uh, held on the bottom. So it doesn't keep moving. Top right is going to fold under the ohe, which gives you one sticking out to the right and three to the left. Okay. Um, okay, hold on one second. Getting my pictures mixed up. Um, okay, so that one's going under. This one is gonna go under. Ah, that's right. That one's over. Okay, tell them I bear with me. Okay, you know what? Hello, my. So while we're at the beginning, <laughs> I had I had made one wrong step. So I know you guys are getting used to it, but your your fingers are gonna get used to holding this. But okay, so can you guys bring it back out because the pictures I have are different. It makes a whole difference. So can we come back to this step, please? Hello, my. Thank you, guys. Okay. And it's okay to, to undo it and, you know, it just helps you grasp the steps. Okay, so now instead of going right into left, we're going to go the opposite way. We're going to go left into right. Okay. Same thing, but the opposite side. So left going into the right side.
Okay. This is the setup we need. Okay, so I put pictures on a PowerPoint um, for you guys, so you guys can look back on it. And this is the actual first step that we have. Okay, here we go. Same thing, get your ohe back in there. Set it up. Sorry, I'm just gonna get, I gotta get a hold of the, the beginning part. Once you get the beginning part, then you're good. It's always, I always need a reminder on this part. Okay, so we take that one down. This one comes up, okay. Yes, that's the one. Okay. Do I remember that? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Let me backtrack. First step, now that you're set here, the, the bottom one on your right, okay? Bottom one on your right is gonna come over the top here, okay? So you have one thing that looks like this. You want to keep keep trying to keep them in in place, yeah. So essentially, right now you have one to your right, three to your left. So this is what it looks like. The bottom one came over and across to the left. Okay, now. Sorry, can you repeat that one more time? Yes. yes. So you see how there's a fold right here? There's this part, you can, you can fold this top one back if you'd like. That's gonna expose here. And this one is just gonna, you're gonna see how my thumb is holding over here in the corner. You're going to just fold up like that. So now they're all parallel to each other. You made like a little corner here. This one can fold back over. When you're folding up like this, you want to make sure that they're, they're, they're close to each other like this. You don't want gaps in between. Hey, hold that for a second. Let me get the next step in. Okay, next one. You're going to take the top 
the left side now, the top left side. And you're just gonna fold it under. So keep it facing up towards you, but fold it under. And now it's on the left side. Okay, so when you fold it under, it's gonna make it another like row up here. Okay, let me try that again. See how my one hand is always keeping the bottom paw off, holding it in place. So don't let it go. The top left is gonna go, see, under, you're gonna go under this bottom one. Okay, under and joining up to the right side. Joining to the right, okay. So this is what you should have now. Everybody okay? Um, I got lost to be, but that's okay. Keep going because I don't want to hold anybody. But it's okay. good. I'm good. Um, <laughs> yes, Jamie. Uh, you said the top left goes under the bottom left or or in between? In between. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Malo. Okay, next step. You see this top one right here? On the top, I'm going to the left. You're going to fold this one back. You know you can fold it back when it has this to stop it. Okay, so this is called uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get into the terms later. I don't want to confuse you guys. So you pull that one back. That's going to allow this one, that bottom left to fold over now. Okay, yeah, so let me try that again. So we're here. Now, if you have this whole setup right here, now you can pull this one back, pinch it, hold it there. Bottom left is gonna fold over and meet up with this one, uh, this, this one that was on the bottom. Okay, now pull this one back over. Now you have three on the right, one on the left. Okay. This is just the front now. We got to flip it over. It's going to look a whole lot different in the back. So now we're going to pull Now we're in the back. Okay. So you can do the same thing. You see this because there's, you can fold right here. I'm gonna fold it back. Bring the bottom left now up to meet this one up here. And then you have your back. But what you wanna try and do is maneuver your low so you don't have these puka. And that's what having your your extra low, it's gonna, it's gonna look like low hala under there. So, can you repeat the last step, please? Sorry. Yeah. Yes. Yes. The last step when you flip it over, yeah. Okay. So now that you flipped it over, you can tell that you can do another fold back right here. So you're folding it back. Okay. That will allow this one to meet up with this one here. And you're going to fold that right up. OK. 
Okay, this one is now these have become one. These two have become one. And you fold this back up and this two has become one. You know you're done when you have this look right here. Flip it back over, same thing. That was one wrap. Okay, so when you end up with two on the right, two on the left and they joined each other, that's, that's one. Okay, um, checking in. Does anybody need me to go from the beginning before we move on? Because after that, it's just repeating. So you guys got to kind of memorize the steps. So, yeah, go ahead. Yes, I would, I would not mind if you could. Hello, Mike? I would not mind if you would try, uh, would do from the beginning again. Okay, I'm going to do it from the beginning one more time. Uh, for recording purposes too. Okay, Kahia, so sorry. Um, Kalamai, we got a, um, we ran into a, sh a problem. Um, we're gonna have to switch to another Zoom room. Okay, where were we? Okay, we're gonna hunt a hold this. <clears throat> I have oh, a question. Oh. Yes. Um, so you know how you're talking about the pukuya yeah, over here? Um, you want it closed, this pukuya? Okay, wait, I'm trying to find. Oh, Shale. Oh, no. Ja, uh, that is Shale. Justice. Yeah. Do, you, do you like the puka to be closed or is it okay if there's like a little square to see the bottom? You know what I mean? You want to try and get it as close as possible. Okay. As possible. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It comes with practice, though. Um. On, yes, you guys are recording. Okay. Let's. Let's do this again. So this is good because we have a new recording now. We're gonna have two recordings for you guys. So it's good that I can do this part again for this new recording. I'm gonna hunt a hole from the beginning. And after that, we're gonna move on. Okay, from the, from the top. The top right is gonna go under and join with the two on the left. Under and between that bottom right, okay? Next, the top left is going to go under and between, between these two, top left, under and between the two on the left. So it joins up with the other left, the other side on the right. Okay, so this is what you should have. Like I said, always have a always have some fingers holding this paw on the bottom. Um, can you put that question in a voice, please? Because I'm not reading the chat right now. Okay, so Christian asked um, if you could show us quickly um, the pocket you made for the ohe when we switch sides. Oh, the very beginning. Uh, I'm sorry, Kumo. I have the same question. Everything was flowing for me until we switched um, the yeah. left into the right. So now I'm really confused. Okay, so this is from the very beginning. Okay. For those who didn't want to start from the beginning, just hold it where you are. Or if you can figure out the rest of the... Um, the wraps, you're, going, you're only gonna make, you know what, just wait. <laughs> wait where you are. Okay. So we did those 90 degree folds, right? Wait, hold on. Okay. We got this part? Yes. Can we see that close, please? Like zoom in? 
Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, zoom in again. Um. Uh, wait, hang on one second. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, hold on. Okay, sorry. So this is it. Right here, right here. So the top one, this one is going to the right. The top one is, uh, for the left is going to the left. You got 90 degree angles, okay? Oh, that's, that's different. Okay, one moment, please. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, now the left side, okay, is gonna go into the right. It's just gonna sit right. That way it becomes one node, okay? You know you got it right if you see this right here. You, this part is on the top and going to your right. Yeah. And this is on the bottom. So this is the image you should have. Okay, moving on. The pocket. So I think this is was the question. Putting the ohe, sorry, into the middle part, holding it there. That's it, just like that. Okay. Because we only have until three, uh, we're gonna move on. And if you, yeah, we're, we're gonna um, send you the recording. So don't worry, you can look at it over and over again for the next however many days you need. Okay. First motion, uh, first step, top right, under, between the bottom right. Meeting up with the three on the, the two on the left. Now you got three on the left, one on the right, okay? Next, top left, under and between. Between meaning, between these low and the ohe. Under and between. All right. You gotta train your fingers to, to like keep this paw. Don't let this move around the bottom, the bottom. Okay, now. Oh, wait, color my, color my. Um, no, wait, oh, okay. I got confused, so. I lost my I lost my flow real quick. Hold on. Uh, okay, yeah. So once you folded the top right, that was just from the first step. You're gonna pull this back. Sorry, pull this one back, and this bottom left comes over. Here. All right. Next, you can take this, this one here, the uh, bottom left. It's gonna fold under, under like this. And it's gonna meet up with this one, the top right, okay? I'm sorry, Kumo, uh, you lost me again because we, we, we took a step back and I was doing, I couldn't watch you and un, undo my step at the same time. Sorry. Is anybody else having difficulties with this part? A bit, yeah. I'm just going to go back two steps. Okay. The first step was the top right folded under. Yeah, yeah. you got that one. 
Yeah, next one, top left, fold it back. Okay. Bottom left, fold it over. Fold it over. This one comes back up. Oh. The one that just came back up is gonna fold underneath, in between, and meeting up with this one. So these two are set. Okay, now from here, I just gotta start to see like the pattern and what's going on, what needs to be over and under. From here, now you can fold back, right? So you're gonna fold this one back, which allows this one to lock in, okay? You folded it back, bottom right, coming over. Fold it back over. That's the front. This is how it should look in the front. Two on the left, two on the right, two on the left. Flip it over, perfect, you did it right because that's how it should look on the back as well. Moving on. Okay, same thing. Now, if you're facing the front, you wanna pull this one back, okay? Because you can fold back now. The bottom one is gonna come over. Three on the right, one on the left. Top right, oh, sorry. Top right is gonna go under. Okay. Essentially, you're just repeating what you did, but now that we've locked in the bottom, I wanna hold that. So let me go back again. If you guys are there, just hold it. Okay, so now that you got two on the right, two on the left, the front and the back look the same. You don't have a big gap in the middle here. As small as you can. If there's no gap, the better. See how that is? Okay, first step, you're always gonna be working on the um, side facing up. Pulling back this one here. The top right pulls back. Oh wait. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Top left, pull back. Bottom left, folding over. Okay, you always wanna go parallel. To the one right next to it. Okay, fold that back over. Oh, you got three on the right, one on the left. The top left of the, uh, this one here, Bottom right, under, in between, under, in between, just like that. Now you got two on the right, two on the left, okay? Now you need this one to meet up with this one, right? So this one can fold back and fold over. You're gonna start to see the pattern happening. Okay, once you finish that one, flip it over to the back. This one needs to meet up with this one. So you're gonna pull this one back, fold it over, and there you have it. That's the back. This is the front. Repeat that two more times. You need four of these. So this is one diamond right here. See this right here? One diamond. You need four diamonds. So finish the second, the third, and the fourth, and then you had finished your handle. Okay, I'm gonna pause right here and just answer any questions. I'm not gonna go back but just clarifications on where you're at. Did you say stop at four? 
um diamonds like don't yes. keep going okay that's that's your handle my my other two then start to start to um see that pattern yeah happening Okay, so the fourth one is going to be this one that stays open. So you have one, two, three, four. Don't close that one up, leave that one open. And then this is going to be your handle. Okay, just so I can see where everybody's at. I'm looking at everybody's screen and whoever's where I'm at, can you guys hold it up? Chalet. Looking good, nice. Uh, hi, awesome. Jamie, let me, okay, so Jamie, can I turn it around? Are you getting the pattern, Jamie, though? Are you starting uh, to get the pattern? I'm, I'm just catching up, I just, you, yeah, it's coming, it's coming. So I have three on one side and then I flip it around, right? And then, yeah. And then what, I... Um, can you hold it up again? Just so I can see where you're at. Okay, hold it still. Let me come close to your screen. Yeah, okay. So you see that top one going to the right? Yeah. In the, the front or in, in the back? The one in the back? The top one going to the right, the one that you're, I can't really see, but um, that top one? Yeah. Okay, hold that one, but then the, the bottom one on the right needs to go under it and over the, um, to the left. Okay, so, I, so I, I always fold the one on top down and then bring over. Okay. Correct, correct. How's everybody else? Um, Dante, do you look like you're ready? I'm not stuck on the second. Can I hold it up where you where you're at? Okay. 
Um, can you move your finger so I can see the design? Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, that's your front or your back? That's my. This is my back. This is my front. Okay. So, show me your front because you're gonna. Um, you're gonna work that way. Can you, can you, yeah. Can you try and move your fingers to the side so I can see? Yes, okay. So Dante, um, I'm trying to imagine it. Okay, so now look at look at your, your low hala now and you see how you can pull back that top right? So fold it back and then bring the bottom left over on the top. Yeah, so it's gonna make a whole new roll. Bring it parallel to the other side, uh, to the other leaf, other low. Yeah. And yeah, I'm trying to think where you are now. Should, should I turn it over? Sorry. Okay, now. Okay, turn it towards you. The bottom right is gonna go under and meet up to the left side. Bottom right under, yeah, meet up to the left. Okay, so show me where you're at now. Um, oh wait, you missed something. You see the you see where uh, shoot your other your, move your other other finger. <laughs> I think that's your right hand. Move your right hand. Yeah, right there. The one that you just touched on the bottom. That that one isn't locked in correctly. So hold on. Okay, let me drink some water. Mm. Is it twelve o'clock already? Oh boy. Okay. I want to make sure that we all kind of I think get I got I think I got it. Okay, beautiful. If you can figure out the pattern, then that that yeah, that's half the battle already. <laughs> you gotta lock, make sure you lock it in. And once everybody gets to the handle, um, Jamie, one second, I'll get to you. Let me just check everybody else. Eileen, that's good. May cut you. Okay, so keep it on a flat surface. Those who are paw with the handle, go ahead and take a lunch break. Um, we're gonna do like a, uh, yeah, just go eat, go take a snack or something while I catch up everybody else. Makalapua, you're with my kai? Okay, I've seen it, thank you. Jane, how are you doing? No? Yeah, can you show us a close up of, where, of yours? Yes. Sorry, that's the lowest my camera can go, but I got to bring it up. Yeah. I think I'm in the same as everyone else. I'm stuck right here. I'm not sure you can see. Okay. Hang on one second. Oh, I, I can come to one. Okay. I'll leave that right on there for you guys to see the pattern. In case. Oh, did I just uh, it, I call oh, call Celia, can you hold it up one more time? Uh, it looks so from the back, it looks like this. From the front, it looks like this. Oh, okay. Okay. Kind of hard because your virtual background kind of interferes. Oh, I can um, turn it off. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's better. Come closer, please. Yeah. Okay. This is my front. 
And then this, this is the back. That's how mine is too, but it's like, it's opposite of which one's on top for yours, but mine looks like, like yours. I think I might have made it backwards maybe this time. I'm not too sure. You know what, I actually have another kit, so. Everybody's kind of taking a quick break. Um, let me try it. Get you to the next step or get most of you to the next step. One second. I'm a little confused. Where are you? Okay, Jamie, I'm going to start from the beginning. Oh, so, okay. Okay, yeah, go, go, go. <laughs> okay, I'm going to just follow. This is also your I'm just gonna follow. Have a working lunch, you guys. Hope you don't mind. Hope you had a big breakfast. Fine. Hang on, I'm prepping my thing. I'm just hungry to know how. Okay. Okay, for those who need this step, I would highly recommend paying close attention. Because once we're Paul, we're gonna move on to the um, actual Ulana process. Now that you got half, you have your leaves. All of you have done that already. Um, you're gonna make that 90 degree angle. The top right is going to the right. The bottom is going straight up, okay? Do the opposite to the left side. And to the second low, you're gonna go the opposite way. Mm -hmm. Top left, going all the way to the left. Bottom going straight up again. So you have two like this, total opposite. Okay, now, I'm pretty sure we all got that. So from here, <clears throat> left side is going to join in and fall right into the right side. So they become one. Okay. Like so. I think we all got that as well. So you, you need to stop me at the part that you're, you need help on. Cause if, if I don't hear anybody jumping on, then I'm gonna move can on. Can you move your finger? Oh, yeah. So I can see how it's supposed to look. Yeah. I think that's my freaking problem. Okay. So you see, this is, this is me putting it, putting the left side to the right side. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Now we can put the ohe inside. Right into that little pocket. Come here. Come on. Stop. 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 Okay, here we go. Starting from the from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Okay, the top right. This is the the very first fold. The top right. Okay, is gonna go under. And in between the bottom right, and it's gonna make it an, a new roll. Okay. So right now, you have this picture here.
Okay. Okay, I guess everybody's there. Now, what you wanna do, take the top left, push these other two down. You see these ones right here, push those down. You see how all my fingers are kind of like helping each other out? So the top left is gonna go under and between those bottom two and also making a new row. Ah, no, 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 let's see, go back. Don't do that one yet, call my Top left folds back. You see how there, you can do a fold right here? Top left fold back. Make sure you keep pinching over here. Don't, don't let the tension go. This one is gonna fold up. Bottom left is gonna fold up. And that's where it's gonna make a new row. <clears throat> okay. Two on the right, two on the left. Now you can see you can fold this one back on the top. Fold that one back. This bottom one, the bottom right, is going to meet up with the top left. Okay, the one that you fold it back comes back up. It's starting to take shape. Now the bottom left needs to go under and between this bottom one here. Bottom left, under in between. And it's gonna meet up with that top right. Question? Yes. Oh, okay, sorry. So we are flipping it. We're not just working one side, we're flipping. Turn it over and you want to okay. make sure that the other side looks just like the front. And if you follow correctly, then it should look just like the front. Shoot, mine's goofed up. Celia. Hold that up again. And turn it around. Okay, good. Now, Celia, we're going to move on. You see this top left? You see how it can fold back now? So now you're going to fold that back. Okay. Pinch it here. So you hold it. Bottom left, coming over, making a whole new row. The part that you just folded back can come back over. Okay. Okay, I'll, bottom right, this one. You're gonna go under and between 
also making a whole new role. Okay. Good? Yes. Okay. Now you can see that you can fold back again. So you see how um, this doesn't look right? This one got to cover this, this corner here. Oh, sorry. Okay. So this one, got you pull it back. This right side folds over. Okay. And now you're starting to see a pattern here. Yeah. Once you're at this point. Yeah. I like, to, I like to pinch and just hold it. So this bottom left is going to go under and between. And then you're gonna have two on the left, two on the right, two on the left. Yeah. Flip it over. If you did it correctly how I said on the top, then the bottom should be, you don't have to do any adjustments on the bottom. Looking good, yes. That's I good. think I know where I went wrong. I think I get the step. Okay, Jamie, I'm in on you, Jamie. I'm having a, I, I think I got it and then I don't got it. Um, can you did say I do something? Sorry. Did I, I do something? Well. Okay, so yeah, you see that the top one right there, you see how it, it doesn't match up. It has to go underneath that other one. Mm. Uh, it has to go under. Mm. Yeah. So just zip it under. <laughs> Okay, so like that? Yes, that's the way. Turn it and around. Then, okay. Yes. Okay, next step. Repeat the whole thing again. <laughs> Let's see, okay. Okay, sounds good, Polly. Thank you, Kaha. I think I'm all caught up. Um, so you have one, two, three, the fourth one stays open. Yes. Okay. Grab an apple, grab some water. In about um, five minutes. Maybe seven, maybe eight. We're going to move on to the next step. You're welcome. Kumu, I'm sorry. It's Jane here. I'm stuck. Where? Um, I, I, I'm not sure when you said just repeat the pattern. <laughs> I'm, I'm stuck. Yeah, can you hold it up so I see where you're at? So I, I, think, I think this, I think I have okay. Uh -huh. the, one, the one side. <clears throat> okay. But uh, my back doesn't look right. Uh, it's not tight, so that part's not good. It's not perfect, but... 
Oh, okay. So hold it there. Hold it still, Jane. Yeah. I'm going to walk you through this real quick. Yeah. So you hold it up on your camera so I can see it. Um, yeah, right there. Right there. Don't move it. So you see that one that you're pinching right now? This one here? Yeah. That one got to go underneath the one that it's over. Yeah, okay. So go ahead and switch that now. <clears throat> okay. Okay, you got the pattern. Now, how's yeah. the other side? Think it's good. Yeah, I just got to work on getting it tighter, but you got the yeah. pattern. Okay, so what's the, my next step is to bring yeah, what's, this like, back. Yeah, you pull that back. Yep. Good. This goes over? Yes. Yeah? Yep. And then this folds back down? Yes. Okay. Now the other side? Okay, wait. Hold on, Jane. Don't yeah. move any further. Let me get it to where you're at. Okay, here we are. So this is what you just did, yeah. You pulled it back. Yeah. Where's my camera? You pulled it back, you pulled it over. Yeah. And then you you're here, yeah. Yeah. Okay, now this one right here, the bottom right. You're gonna go under and bring it, swing it over to the left now. Okay. Let me try it again. Don't worry, I see that look of concern. The bottom right is gonna go underneath and in between this other one in be behind. You're gonna just right, right under there. And now okay. it's on the left. Okay. Now what? <laughs> and you got that. Okay. <clears throat> Now, this is where paying attention and observing what's going on, uh, it's gonna come in handy. Oh, I made a mistake. This isn't right. Hey, Jane, I'm trying to get you through the, this step. So now you can pull back this one. Okay, you pulled it back? No, I have a mistake. I had to back up. Uh, Jamie, I'm I'm helping Jane get through. Oh, that. I'm sorry. I thought, I thought you said Jamie. Sorry. And then you're gonna pull this one, the right side over. Okay. Yeah, I see it. Okay. Now that you got that one done, you see this bottom left. That one's also gonna go behind and between. This is your last step. That way, now you have two on the right, two on the left. Turn it over. It should be pa. Ah. It should be the pattern that it should be. Okay. So you need four, uh, four diamonds. One, two. Mahalo. One, two, three, the fourth one stays open. Yep, that looks good, Jamie. No, my problem is, um, so I get to this point and then you say, okay, the pattern looks good and, and repeat the pattern, but I don't know the pattern, so I keep making mistakes. Um, many, I can't get past this point. How many diamonds do you have, Jamie? Two. Just two okay. on one okay. side. I don't have a second one on the, the back side. Pay attention to this step. So, so you need to like... Um, do it step by step with me. Don't go any further. Oh, I'm not. Trust me. I just. Okay, so here we are. Top left, fold it uh, back. Wait, wait. I want to make sure I'm on the right side. Um, yeah, you're always working on the top. Yeah. Well, no, I mean. Okay, I guess they look identical. Okay. The way you find out is you look at your ohe. Mm hmm. 
and if the you know which yeah. side is the top and which side is the bottom that's okay. how you decide to work on okay so my question there is are we only working on one side or are we flipping and weaving on both sides if you get the top side correct and you follow the steps then the bottom will be okay 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 so we were just flipping to check things i think that's where i got messed up you're just flipping to check if it's all in okay. place. Okay. Okay, so next step, you're gonna do the whole step all over again. Yeah. Top left, pull it back. Mm -hmm. This one on the left is gonna fold over. Yep. Parallel to the other one. The one that you yep. pulled back can come up. Okay. You see, now you have three over here. You yeah. see the bottom right? The bottom yeah. right is going to go under between and make a whole new row to the left. Where'd you go? <laughs> can, you see, can you see it? No. Oh, there you are. Okay, I'm with you. And then I just repeat that? I just do that again and again and again? No. If no. you spotlight my video, then you won't see my, my camera keep changing. So do you know how to spotlight my video? Um, not on my iPhone. I know how to do it on my computer, but I- Okay, never mind. Okay, now you're, we didn't move on. Next step, now you're gonna fold back. You see right here, you can fold this top one back. Uh-huh. Fold that back. Now the, you only have one on the right. Fold it over. Yeah. Got it. Fold that back over. So now you have three on the left, one on the right. Got it. Okay. Now this bottom right. Left. Sorry. Bottom left is going to come under and in between. See? Yeah. 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 It's going to meet up with the right one. Got it. Now you have two on the right, two on the Perfect. left. Yes. It over. If it's the same in the back, you did it correctly. I did it. Okay, do that one more time and then we're gonna move on. We need four. Can I just check mine really quick? Yes, yes. Oh, I can see it. Yeah, turn it over. Great. Yep. The thing, right? Okay, I got this. Yep. Four, right? Yours equal. I see your clip. Nice to have. Um, One, two, three, four. Diamond. Um, oh, jeez. What is that called? Uh, closed pins. Good to have closed pins, too. I just, I need a little repetition. <laughs> so, please don't abandon me. <laughs> I'll just so, get you Kahia, okay, yeah. like Ready? every time I just need, okay, so I've got this again. We're going to start over. I'm okay. going to fold. I'm going to walk you through this. Oh. Okay, watch, watch me. Left side, pull back. Yeah. Bottom left, coming yes. over. Okay. Yes. Good. Yes. Now pull that back over. Bottom right now is gonna go under and in between starting a whole new row. Yeah. Perfect. Is... Yep, I see it. Now you can fold back to the top. Bring that lonely one on the, the right over to the other friends on the left and fold it back over. Now you have one to the right, three to the left. I see it, great. That bottom right is gonna go under left. In between. Sorry, oh, I did that the second time. Under and you're done. I think I did it. Yes, you did. Good job. Okay, gang, let's jump back on. We're moving on. Sorry, everybody. No, no, all good. Like I said, we're all at different levels. And we only have a day for this, but you guys are doing great. I mean, this is the hardest part. 
good. <laughs> At least that's what I think. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure everybody's back on. Let's jump back on our cameras. Ke olu olu. Do I have one too many? Who's talking? Uh, Jane, Jane, here. One, two. Yes, you do. Yeah. Okay. Do I need to make one more roll? Uh, one, two, three. No, no, that's good. That's good? Yep. Dante, make a. Okay. So this is where, uh, actually I have two samples here. So I'm just making sure everybody's at the same. Are you guys ready to move on to the next step? Yes. Yes, Hi. yes, yes. Okay. All right, now we're gonna do, we're gonna do this, these two corners, these two bottom corners right now. How you do that, you take the two on the right. You see how I'm just turning both of them, keep them as, as if they're one, make, make pretend they're one, one low. You're gonna turn them down, both of them. It's okay if they're not, they're not like totally together. You're just turning it down. Make sure it's parallel to the ohe. You're gonna pinch it. Okay, watch this carefully. And then you're gonna flip it up. I'm gonna do it again on the, the, the left. Don't worry, we're gonna do it again on the left. Okay, so you have now this left side. It's good to have closed pins if you do, then you can just hold it in place like that. On a hole, left side, you're gonna fold it downwards like this, you see? I like to just make, you see how my thumb is holding this corner? So it's, it's, it's helping to create that corner. Now it's parallel to the handle. Pinch this here, make the crease. And from here, Oh, wait. This is where you're going to make your fold up. Right where it meets underneath here, you're going to make that fold crease up. Corner number one. Good. I see. Dante, Maikai, Jamie, that's good. Yep. Nice, Chile. Jane, awesome. Um, I see, yep, uh, Celia, yes, awesome. Eileen, Maikai, Ipo, awesome. Okay. Okay, now go ahead and grab one more strip. Just one, one more strip. And again, you wanna find the middle, the middle of the strip. Find the middle, measure that out. That middle part, you see how I made that crease? That's make sure it, it stays in the middle here. So for this next uh, strip, you're gonna come and slide it under the mid rib. Okay, see that?
you want to try and uh, not make so much, make it close so that there's no pukas over here or very small puka. You want to pay attention of how my hands are placed, how my fingers are placed. Okay. Everybody got that? Can you zoom out a tiny or you should just show the side? So the middle is on one end. Does it matter which end? Or the middle is in the middle of the... Yeah, the middle is in the middle of this. And then the alo is facing up, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, the face of the lao, the shiny part, the pretty part of the lao is facing towards you. So we're not, we're not flipping over anymore. Make sure you're working on a flat surface. No more flipping over. Okay, this, so the yeah. low is not folded, right? It's open? The, yes, it's open. Yeah, you just have to find the middle part. Okay, so from here, all you're going to do... <clears throat> This is where the ulana starts to happen, the, the weaving part. So this is, you're gonna cool, you're gonna make this part stand. So I, you see how I have my nail right at the edge of this one here? I like to put my nail there so I can get that crease. You're gonna bring back that left side, fold back the right side as well that okay so now you have this <clears throat> okay okay so the goal is to try keep it tight and keep it um close keep all the low close to each other okay now pay attention to this part because we're gonna be um Hold on one second. This one. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna, I, I like to work on my left. So in order to make the next corner, so corner number two, you're gonna flip this left side, flip it under. See how I'm going under and make sure that it's flipped under so that it's really close to this side here. Let me bring my camera down just a tad. Just wanted to make sure you guys see the whole thing. Okay. Okay, so you flip it down, make that crease, and then you flip it back up. Now you have corner number two. Same thing on the right. Whatever you do on the left, you do on the right. Right side, you're flipping inwards and under. Make that crease. And then flip up at the crease. Okay. Now you have the left side, the first one is up, second one is facing down. You have the middle rib, the right side, you have one up and one down. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Now what you're gonna do is add in the next low. Find the middle piece of that next low. Once you found the middle, okay, see how my crease is going to go right on top of that bohe. Now this one is going to go on the top, okay? So you see how in this pe'ahi, um, the first one was on the bottom. You cannot see that one. Second one is on the top. Third one is on the bottom. Fourth one is on the top, okay? 
that's the pattern we're making right now. This one stays on top. And we're working from the left to the right. This is left. So you want to make sure that don't don't make don't leave gaps like that. Bring it down so it's it meets right here onto the next side. Okay. And from here you're gonna ulana. So this one folds down. That far left folds down. The next one folds up. Jump over the mid rib. Oh, next one folds up. Yeah. This one folds up and this one folds down. And you should be here now. Now we're going to make the third corner. Okay, I'm going to stop right there and just check in on you guys. This is the time to ask questions, clarification. I have a quick question. Um, my son accidentally, on purpose, cut one of my low. So it's not on. Okay. So, um, is there a better place to add it in, like towards the top, or? So he cut um accidentally, or he cut one of the lower half. Like this is the center, and he cut it right there. So it's should oh, I? Make it um, it's gonna be way shorter than the rest now. Yeah, hang on one second. Let me think about that. Um. If you add it in here, add it in here. Uh, yeah, okay, so the short one, Kai, add it into the next next one. You should have enough. I also still have the piece if there's a way to like add it in as we go. Oh, I see. Um, I think I think you should have enough. Just make sure. Just find the the middle part of it. Okay, mahalo. Yeah. Hi. Okay. Moving on. You're just gonna um repeat that again. So, but this time, uh, let me show you the corner again. So starting from the left side. Hold on. Let me spotlight my video on the main screen. One second. There, oh, no, not that. Okay, anyway. Starting from the left, fold down the outside. Make sure it's close, peel it to the other side, uh, this other low, and then fold up. You gotta make your corners before you add in the next low. Jump over to the right side. Make your next corner, folding down. Make the crease, folding up, crease. Okay, so you know you're ready to add in the next low when you have no side sticking out, okay? And it's, there's up and, up and down. They're facing up and down. See how I gotta keep pushing it down? Sometimes they like to move up. So you gotta be the boss of this low. Tell it where it's supposed to go. Keep it in its place. Okay, now you're ready to add in the next low. Same thing, find the middle. Now this one, instead of being on top, right? It's gonna go on the bottom. So let me sh zoom out. So the middle crease, yeah, is gonna go. Just slip it right underneath there. 
Boom, all the way down. Is that the one you said? I should add the short one, that one right there. Uh, yes. And now you're gonna ulana. Once you add in that second one, then start from left to right. <clears throat> and you're gonna ku, ku means to stand and moi. Ku coming back towards you. Yep, so just keep, jump over to the right and keep doing your ulana. So you get all the way there. Last step, you're making the next corner. Are those like double ones or singles, the up and down ones? I mean, so the only one that's double is, is the, the two that you started with. Okay, all right. Yeah, the rest are all single. Okay, I was just wondering why there's two, sorry. <laughs> yes. I know. It's okay. I, I was like, oh wait, how come I get two? I had to remind myself too. Okay. Now I'll create the your next corner. Make sure your all your your right side, your left side, those ends are back up with the rest of the gang. Now, you know you're ready to add when you have everybody standing up where they're supposed to be and laying down, and you see that pattern up, um, cool and moy, cool and moy. This one's up, this one's down. Cool moy, moy cool moy cool. Okay. How many corners are we going to make? Well, so far we have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Four. Okay, let's add in one more. Same thing, repeating again. This one goes on the top of the kua, not in the back, but on the top. So that, that corner, did it go on, hold it under? Yes, under. Okay, and then up. Yep, under and up. So two up, two down, four down, four up, four down. Excuse me, Kahea. Hi. Hi. Um, can I show you my work for a second? Because yes. suddenly it looks like I don't have enough things happening. I thought I was totally getting it. Um, I got a foot. Uh. Oh, you got it. You just got to bring those. You see the two in the middle by the rib? Bring those down. That's what I had. But then when I looked at your screen, it looked like you had more going on up here, so I changed that. Is it, does that look right now? No, it's right. I keep oh, going. okay. I, I think I'm a step ahead of you. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, just keep going, it's right. Thank you, Mala. One, two, three, foot one more across. Five. I'm still trying to determine how many corners you guys are gonna make, so. Uh, bear with me. You guys should all have pretty much the same ohe. The same size ohe. Because we're only going to make so much corners, then we got to stop 
And then the rest of that, we're, we're folding it into each other. So you might end up with extra low. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's add in one more. Right now I have five corners. I'm gonna add in one more corner to make six and see where we're at. How's everybody doing? Oh my God. Good. I'm not sure. <laughs> Who's that? Eileen. Eileen. I, I think so. Yeah, don't don't lift it up because if you lift it up, it's gonna get yeah. all I'm not gonna touch it. Papa Kahi. Four, five, six. Okay, I'm gonna add in one more to make seven. Row number seven. I'm just trying to determine where it's halfway. We're trying to get halfway up this ohe. Once we get halfway, then we're gonna stop adding. We should put another mid rib in. I mean, another rib, mid rib, another low across. I mean, we got. What, what row are you on, Eileen? I'm not sure. I oh, think how, many, how many corners did you make? One, two, three, four. I'm on the fifth. Okay, good. Yeah, make two more. Okay. Okay, because I like even numbers, we're gonna do eight. <laughs> we're gonna do eight corners. Eight is a good number. So essentially, you guys are gonna have two left over. No, eight, nine, ten. Just kidding. Uh, yeah, just put eight corners. Maile, is there anything in the chat I should be addressing? I, I'm not following. Um, no, nothing in the chat for now. Maybe because I haven't checked it. <laughs> That's why it's red on my screen. Okay, thank you. 
Let me go ahead. There was eight guy yeah, again. Eight, eight corners. We're doing. You have eight corners. Okay, we, we, we're doing eight corners. Yeah, you said, and then stop. Yeah, eight, please. Okay. okay. Oops. Okay, I got a little lost again. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Can I just show you where I'm at? Yeah, one second. Let me finish this roll. Sure. Okay, go ahead, Jamie. So I haven't I haven't gotten anywhere since the last time I spoke out because I've just really got confused. Okay, so let me walk you through I know where you're at. Starting from the left. You're gonna leave the far left coming up, leave that one up. Yeah, second one down, third one up, fourth one down. Okay, wait, wait. So on the fourth one, there's two. I bring them both down, right? Yeah, that's the only ones that have two. Those are right. You right. have to pretend that those are one. Okay, that's what I had. And then. Now you're going to add in the next low. Okay. And. That one's going to lay on top instead of underneath. And it's just going to lay on top, or do I weave it through? On top. And then now, now that it's on top, um, now you're gonna okay hang on uh shoots you see how you did that that first one so put it on top jamie uh-huh now you're gonna start from the left and start uh you know your cool and moi you you weave it start weaving it you're gonna okay. lock it in, lock it in with the weave yeah okay For some reason, I'm just, something doesn't sit right. No, it's right. You just oh, got to okay. trace this. Okay. Yep. Everybody else okay? After we finish the eighth corner, okay. are we um, the doing the, like we're finishing the sides of it where we fold it under and over? Yeah. That. yeah. This is, uh, you're going to wait. There's a whole nother step, so. We're, we're done adding right now. Um, so yeah, hang tight if you're there. If you're there, that's awesome. If you're not, that's okay. We'll get there. Okay, um, the corner you just folded, that's your eighth corner, yeah? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, while, while everybody's getting to their eighth corner, I'm just going to take a quick bathroom break and grab an apple. Any other questions before I step out for a minute? If we do our eighth one, we use up all our leaves. Is yep. that right? Yep. Okay. So now we're just going to fold into each other. No more adding. Okay. I did my math correct? <laughs> Okay, I'll be right back. Looking good. Oh, hang on. Before I leave, let me.
Okay, I think most of us are ready to start closing it up. Is it, does everybody have eight corners? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'll wait for everybody to jump on. At this point, we're gonna start um, closing, closing it up, so. Okay, most of you are ready. So I only have seven to have. Uh, my last piece is short. Can you show me? I can try to use it though. The last piece. Um, oh, my last piece of La Hala. Yeah. I can try. <clears throat> Doing pretty good. Okay, when those uh, the others jump on their screen, then I'm gonna move on. Or, you know, if you can. I'll wait till Jamie finishes that, that one roll. Um, yeah. Um, okay, Luika, it's all good. Mahalo. You have to sign off. Oh, okay, Luita, are you, are you um, signing off? I'll go ahead and um, after when it's completed, we'll send you guys the video in email. Mahalo for joining. Okay, malama pono. All good, all good. You can catch up after uh, with the video. Take care, Luisa. Okay, next step, I'm gonna move on. If you guys want me to wait another minute, uh, just give me a thumbs up to your screen. No? Okay. All right, so we're starting from the left, always. That's just how I like to do it. So this left one that's facing up, you're gonna bend it out underneath. You're gonna go under and like that. Make your crease and then you're gonna flip it at that crease right there, you're gonna fold it in and it's gonna fold over all of these here. So right now, this is kind of hamajang this one, but we're, we're gonna start going up up now to make the, the other eight, okay? So once you got that one done, I'm gonna do that again for those who missed it. Okay, so you're gonna fold outwards always under, under and out towards the left. 
And then at this crease, you're gonna fold over and it's gonna lay over all the rest and it's gonna create your next row, okay? So right now you should have this little uh, rectangle looking here. That's how it should look. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the, the right side, same thing. Folding under. And over. Okay. Okay, so this is where everybody got those folds. Yeah, I'll just, I'll, I'll wait a second. I'm gonna do it one more time because I know some of you are still making rolls. So let me take this out. Okay, this is the beginning. Starting from the left, under. Can you see how this, this one, this bottom one right here, it lines up with this row because that is what's gonna lay right next to each other. And then you fold it over, let it lay over, okay? That's the left side. Right side, repeat. Same thing, you're folding out, under and out. Make your crease and fold over. Now you got two going over. This is where you gotta determine which low is more pretty. So you're gonna determine, okay, which one do you want showing at the top? The one that you want showing on the top is gonna stay at the top. The one that you don't is gonna go on the bottom. How does that work? Well, do the bottom one first. The bottom one goes right underneath. Oh, it just disappeared, just like that. Just like that, yeah? I like this one, so it's gonna stay on the top. The bottom one is right under there, okay? For those of you who are here already, those of you who aren't, it's okay, I'll go back. So once you get these two uh, laying on top of each other, remember now, pay attention to the middle rib and that pattern. This one is gonna stay laying over, which means the next one gotta be under. So now you're gonna do your, um, your ulana, starting from the left. Ku and moi. Ku and moi. Okay. Work your way all the way to the right. At this point, you see the ones that are sticking out left and right? You're gonna leave those out. No, nope. you're gonna cut at the end. These ones, this is gonna be cut at the end. We're only working with these ones now, okay? I'm gonna do this one more, uh, anybody needing me to do it from the beginning again, the folding in? Looks like you guys get them. hold that. So this next row, always working from the left, you're going to fold under, make that crease, and over. 
jump over to the right. Same thing, hold under, crease it, hold it over, determine which one do you want on the top, which one on the bottom. You want to try stay in that color scheme. Uh, which one would match better. Okay, so once you figure out which one it is, they, they got to go underneath the core. So bring it under. You see how I just brought them both underneath like that. And then the one that's going to go on the bottom goes right underneath the top one. Same thing as the one you just did. Make sure you push it down so there's no holes. Make it nice and snug. Just like that, okay? Could you do that fold over on the right side before yeah. you do that cross piece? Fold over. So take this out. Yeah. Okay. Fold over on this side, you mean? Um, hold on. Yeah. So we yeah, folded this, the right one. I did the left. The right side comes under. Which is the upright one. Yes, always the one on the furthest right or left. So coming out, so now it's facing completely to your right, and then you're going to fold over. So oh, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, it laid that. Yeah. You just made a corner. That's making the corner. Okay, determine which one is going to stay on the top and the bottom. Whatever one is on the bottom. Um, it's going to stay beneath the top. Make sure you follow the pattern in the middle. Okay, once they're all set, cool and moy. That's two corners working up. <clears throat> Kahea. Yes. I think I'm having a hard time doing a corner Me too. backwards. So I think I'm going to flip it. Is that okay to flip it? No, 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 don't flip it. No. Yeah. I mean, I mean, rotate it, not flip it. No. Rotate it, what do you mean? Um, well, because we're, we're going, um, yeah, we're going, we're going this way now, right? Uh, and I'm just used to folding it. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'm confused about the corners, but it seems like we have to do the corners backwards now. No? Can I see your, your view to hold it still, please? I just want to see where you're at. Um, okay. Make sure that all of them are facing up and down. Uh, there's one that shouldn't be up, that should be down. That second one on the left, fold it down. The second one going up. No, second, yeah, fold it down. Yeah. Make the crease, good. Uh, okay, so should I watch, watch this side, Jamie? Can you see this here? Yes. So you're going to take your left side, okay? You're going to fold under. Under and out to your left. Make that crease. Let me come a little lower. Crease it and over like that. 
I know you I know you got used to that other fold, but now we gotta switch our brains and get used to this fold. Okay, same thing on the right. You're gonna go all the way to the right side, make your right corner. Folding under like this, under, crease it. Okay. And then at the crease or at the fold right here, goes over. I don't know that was for you. Okay, that worked for me. Now you gotta determine which one is on the top, which one is on the bottom. So for me, I'm gonna have the right side on the top, left side on the bottom. That means the left side is gonna go right underneath, underneath is what I mean, right there, like this, okay? Make sure you pay attention to the middle, like I said, make sure that pattern is repeating. That means this one is gonna go over now, okay? And now you're just gonna keep doing the ulana. Okay. Left to so right. All the way till the end, we're doing that choosing which one's pretty and laying it on top. Yep. Yes, repeating all the way until you get to the two, until you reach the two middle ones um, that's closest to the mid rib, then stop. Mahalo. Yep, you're welcome. Looking good, looking good. I have a couple more, but the top, I ran out of. Okay. <laughs> how many, how many rows you got left? Um, two. That's okay. I, I just keep going and just. Yeah. Just okay. keep going. That's the, yeah, that's the part that I'm still trying to uh, get down is how many corners to make co up compared to the, the size ohe you have. But it's okay if you run out of ohe. It's going to look weird if you have just a huge piece of ohe sticking out and you made two little, little corners, yeah? So it's something that comes with practice. Hi, Kahea. I already ran out of um, ohe. Was that, am I supposed to be doing it another way now? Who's talking? I don't have you on. Oh, sorry. Right. This is Celia. Oh, okay. Yeah, just keep going until you reach the, you see these two right here? Yes. Keep going and, yeah, just make sure these two are still sticking out. All the others, just keep folding. All right. Thank you. We're always going to have stuff sticking out or are we going back? Like, can you look at mine really quickly? Okay, one second. I have to open the windows. Um, okay. So, I see it. I see it. I see it. I got okay. it. Make sure you fold under, yeah? Under. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to watch you. You know what I mean by under? Hmm. So the two corners, the eight, always going to, there's two, yeah? The eight. The next uh -huh. one is. Okay, yeah. I see. Look you there. You get them. You know this part right here? Yeah. I don't know if you can see it. One second. You see this part right here? It's supposed to have only one of these. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're good. Now you can fold. That's yeah. okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Pepper, stop it. Pepper. Uh oh, stop, sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
So yeah, the left, the left and the right is gonna fall on come top back to each other. Yeah, okay. but you gotta determine which one you want on the top and on the bottom. Right. Got it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Oh, looking good, uh, Jane. Awesome. Makai, makai. How's everybody else? Chile, yes, I am. Um, I reached the top of the ohe, also. Okay. Yeah. Um, once you have the two over here, then stop. I'm gonna show you guys how to close up. Yeah, Chile. 
Hi, I'm just not. Mm. You, you know how you have the top. Yeah, you I know have... how you picture the top. I have so six going. Oh yeah, one, two. Oh, I pulled it down. It's okay. Two more corners, yeah, actually. Okay. Two more corners. Just keep going. You're not if you um if you run out of all here, then it's um you're no longer you're no longer going in front or behind the all because it is none. So just just fold it over. Um that's okay because like I said, I'm still trying to determine how much corners to make to make it. Fit just right. It all depends on the size of your low, the length of your ohe. Yeah. Um, it's a work in progress. Okay. Yeah, if those of you who are actually um, at the top already, then, you know, you can start to, um, I don't know, take a quick break or do what you got to do. We'll, we'll just wait till everybody gets to this point. We got time to wait, so, okay. yeah. I see, I see, I see him. Okay, what do you need help with? So we're making eight. So when you come to the eight, there's two. So it starts to descend on the other side, right? So, so you see how... We have the eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. You make another square on the other side, flip, and come back the other way. Yeah, so you see... So we start from the left. Yep, and this one is going to be number one going up. So Did I screw up over here? You see? Oh, hold it still. No, 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 not okay. Hold on. Um, no, no, you're good. That's good. So now you see. If I go this side. Uh, oh yeah. Up. Yes. Now you gotta do the right side. Same thing you did on the left. But Jante, you gotta you gotta pull back that far right one. Um, you gotta uh, lay it down. Got it. This one. Yeah. Right. So sure. like this. Pattern. Right? Yep. Yep. Oh, okay, wait, hold on. See, uh, I think I'm, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, okay, so. I think I, it, Okay, so here. Um, oh, how do I? So you see that the one I that's. I just flip over like this, right? I know what you gotta do. You see oh, the one? Hold on. You gotta fold it so down. This like this? Oh, I can't see. Go to the right. Yes, there you go. Okay. So go, oh, bye. Bye, Gab. Yeah, you're good. Now, now I yeah? start from the left, right? Now no, I start no, from the left. Yeah, always start from the left, and then now you're going to make okay, your got point. You. Yeah. You're no good confusion. Now. Okay, got it. <laughs> all good, all good. I'm <laughs> 
Yeah, so I'm still doing it, but I look at yours and you have two sides that have extra love. Can I hold it up um, from your view and I can I can just see where you're at. Yeah, right there. Okay. Um that one. So I'm folding in. Well, you see how your low is long that way? Long this way. Am I doing something wrong? Wait, tell I, I just gotta see where you're at. And then I can I can let you know what to do. Uh one corner, okay. Uh, oh, okay, I think I see. Okay. John Tay, can you can you take out Take it all. Yes. Um, take it out right before we start making the corners going up. The next. Okay. Yeah. Take it out. Got you. I think I know why. Because I can see that you have plenty long on both sides that I do not. Yeah, yes. I think I might have. Yeah. So make sure. Make sure you have eight on the left and the right and eight corners. Once you have eight One, corners. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, hold on. Yeah, that's why. Okay, so this one right here is the eighth one. Yeah, oh wait, let me put it up down, up down, hold on. Oh, wow, beautiful day down there. Right? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> no, no. Nice, Epo, I see yours. Yeah. Okay. Back to the, okay, here we go. Yeah, bring that one up. Leave that one standing up. Oh, well, yeah, actually. I'm just going to open it. Yeah. This one's okay. got to go up. How many corners you got now on both sides? I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and this one right here would be the eight. Okay, so go ahead and fold that one up. Okay. Yeah, make that eight corner. Yeah. Good. That's the corner. Okay, now you got eight on both sides, yeah? Yes. Okay, now from here, uh, shoot. Kind of folded all mine to inner anybody. And if you can just um, follow my words, you might be able to just. Okay, so from here, you're going to take, take the left side, yeah? That far left one. Okay, okay got you. Under and out. Got it. And then fold it 
over to lay over the rest. Okay, got it. This way over and out, that way, and lay over the rest. Hold on, before I go, yeah. so there, like that, right? Perfect. Now do the same thing on the far right side. Do the same thing on the far. When I get to the right side, I do the same thing going back. Yeah, you're folding under and out towards the right. Got you. Okay, now I got it. And I over. think that's where I went. <laughs> okay, let me try this again. <clears throat> okay, while you're doing that, um, I know most of us are ready to close. Yep, go for it. Okay, yeah, I'm actually gonna close everybody else off and then Dante, I can, whoever is still working on their roles going up, don't worry, I can walk you guys through it. Okay, let's move on to the closing process. Uh, Kahea, can you please adjust your picture? I can't see the top. Oh yeah, thank you. Is that good now for everybody? Okay. So from here, we're gonna do a little uh, fancy motion here. So working with the left side, you're gonna fold under, okay? Both of them, so you should have be working with two right now. Under and... I have four sticky nuts, but... Four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, you should just have, you see, shall I look at my picture? You yeah. have two on the left, two on the right. Okay, but so I should fold these other, the other ones then, I think. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta end <clears throat> only two at the top, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so just make, when you're at the, the end, you should just have two on the top. Okay. But I can come back um, to you guys. I'm just gonna move forward the other peeps who's ready, no worry. Yeah. Okay, so like I said, take the left one, fold it out, under and out, and then I kind of like to pinch right at this corner. You see this top corner. Pinch it down and you're gonna fold over now. Okay, on a hole. See that? Crease it downwards to fall right beside this one. Okay. Okay, hang, hang on, hang on, hang tight. I gotta do a quick review. This one, these two gotta lock in. Lock this one in. Oh yeah, that's the one. Okay, so try to watch. This is kind of a fancy, tricky, tricky. So you're gonna fold this one down, but it's gonna go behind. The reason why it has to go behind it because it has to lock, lock this one in, the top one, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing on the right. Right side, you fold it under to the right like that. I like to hold the top corner just so I can make sure it creases at the right point. Make your crease. The part that you just folded back down is gonna go 
in the back. Do it one more time. I'm going to take out both sides. So for those who have the last two sticking up, so essentially you have four, but we're making pretend they're just two. So always work on the left. You're going to fold this, these two, this one under. And now hold this crease right up, up, up top here and fold down. This one that you just folded down, got to go send it to the back like that. Okay. Moving to the right side. So you're folding under. Make Keep that crease, fold over. The one that you folded over is now gonna go behind. Okay. When you say behind, behind of the whole Yes. The whole fan. Some of you might, you know, you might have extra on the top and that's okay. Um, that's totally fine. Just make sure you get like the process from beginning to end so that when you do make another one, if you do, you can have a longer ohe and it can cover to the top. But just main thing you get the, the each step. Don't worry about having extra on the top. I've done that before and it's okay. So do you, are you always, do you always end up with the, the two up and downs closest to the ohe as the end that's sticking up? Cause mine is like the, the outer ones. The two are, you, outside. are you able to take your camera and show me your view? Okay. Or lift it up if you can. Can you see? Can you see it? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, you gotta you gotta fold in. You got one more fold to do. One more fold. One more corner, I mean. One more corner. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh okay. Yeah, you didn't finish those two and then you're ready to tuck it in. <clears throat> okay. My okay. Those who are here, I'm gonna move you forward. Okay, wait. Yeah, actually. Okay, so from here, you guys can, uh, now we can flip it over. We're gonna work on, on the back of it now. So this is where the tucking is gonna start to happen. So. What you wanna do is grab your scissors, start from the left side. You know that part that you put all the way, you uh, sent to the back? Those two, you're gonna um, maybe go like a little bit more than halfway down and you're gonna make a slant, uh, slanted cut like that. So you have that tip. Same thing with the other side. Make an angled cut. Make an angled cut. Starting with the left side first. Should I bring this down? Okay, you can make your screen mainstream. Sorry? You can make your screen mainstream. Like the, um... Oh, yeah. Um, Spotlight my screen. 
Thank you. Does that work now? Yes. Okay. So you're gonna do the, um, you're gonna start tucking and we're gonna start locking in uh, these low. So this one, this one has to tuck under. So yeah, you gotta try keep them two together. So I, it's hard for me to say it, to just try to, try to watch. You're just gonna tuck it under here. So you see how it's coming through? So you wanna pull it through real slowly. Don't, don't force it too hard. And that locks it in. So it doesn't go anywhere, but you wanna keep, keep tucking under. So go to the next one. This is where this tool comes in handy. Or if you have something flat, it helps you to get under. Just open up that space. Don't pull too hard or else your, your top, your, um, Top is going to come down. So pull just enough. Make sure your top is secured. I would say tuck it in two or three. Two at the least, three at the most. If you have enough to do three, might as well. Just make sure it's pot in there, yeah. Okay, that's the left side. We're done with the left side. I'm gonna Wait just a second, make sure everybody's, not everybody, but make sure most, some of you are there. And if you are there, then do the same thing on the right side. How's everybody else doing? Um, okay, we're at two o'clock. We're almost done. Those of you who aren't aren't um, at the closing, don't worry. We have some time. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and start to uh, actually, maybe I gotta I go wait. Oh, can you look at mine? Can you see it? Oh. Yes. This is Eileen. Okay, I see it. 
Okay, so you turn it over. Um, yeah, hold it still, I think. Okay, good. Now you can just keep keep tucking it in. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I see some of you might be ready to move on. Um, those who might be done tucking, yeah, we can start to cut. But I'm not going to finish uh, this part just yet because I want to show those who aren't ready. If you have a blade like this, that's good. If you just have a scissors, that works too. But if you want to uh, try the blade bl method, uh, Preferably not this, you want like an exacto. This is not as safe, but um, just pretend it's an exacto knife. I don't have one. But essentially, what you're trying to do is put the blade to the edge over here. You see where this is? This needs to be cut off. If you put the blade here and you just like cut it like that, just. Um, Just like that with the blade. It helps to make a clean cut. Or if you use a scissors, you know, just try to get as close as you can and you can just pull it, tug it just a little bit. Because when you tug it <clears throat> and then you cut it close, then once you cut it, keep the tension though. It's gonna, it should fall back in and hide underneath. Don't start cutting until you pull with all the tucking. Okay, the, the cutting is a very last step. But yeah, go ahead and cut for um, all of those who are ready. Turn it over, cut the front as well, or cut the ones that are hanging out, all the stragglers. Oh, shoot. Okay. Okay, you know, for the very top one going uh, horizontal. Yeah. How do you tuck that one? Can you show me yours? Because yours might look different from mine. Oh, yeah. You know why? Because um, we, we ran out of ohe. Yeah. Which is okay. Um, yeah. Like I said, just make sure you get. Oh, so that one. Well, just how oh, do I yeah. end it? Cut it. 
Okay, one second. Um, yeah, that one. Oh. Put it to the back and then put it down. Okay, so you could you could bring it to the back and no. oh, actually, yes, you're supposed to bring it. Sorry, to the back and flip back. it down and then tuck it tuck it in. Okay. Yeah, come on, Mike. So it kind of got buried when we did that top point. But there is like, we just follow that kind of triangle. Yeah. There. Can you show them one more time which way to fold it? To the so, top? see this top one for those who are um, are finished tucking the top. This very top roll, you can start from the left always. Um, bring it over like this, and then fold it. Oh, that one. under. So you see how it starts to look like these ones over here? This okay. one looks just like that one. And then now you're gonna make your little, um, your angled cut and then tuck it in as well. Thank you. Yeah. I almost okay, almost there. Does anybody need, need me to um, go over this top top step again? If not, I'm gonna close it up. Those of you who I don't see on the screen, I'm assuming you're good. Okay, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay this is how my, my top looks. Okay, wait, I gotta come close. Okay. Because my, my ohe ends here. So I have like one, like three more folds after my ohe ends. Yeah, uh, don't worry. Like I said, like I think the, the the spacing of it was off, so don't worry about that. Um, oh. Next time you make it, you just gotta make the right. Uh, okay. So it's okay. Just so long you get the process from beginning to end, you just gotta. Fix your length of your ohe or the size of your low. Um, when you tuck it in, Konamiya? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Oh, that, that's the top. Okay, so the top one, you tuck in the top one too. This one, this one here. Yeah, so the very top one, you gotta, working from the back, yeah. This is the back. Okay. You gotta make this this same little fold right here. Okay, wait. I'm just gonna tuck this one in because it's throwing me off. When you get a moment, Kahea, can you just move your everything down a little so we can see the top better? Sure. Thank you. Yeah. Like that. I hope that's a good view. It's better, yeah. Thank you. Okay. And All then right. the side tail, yeah. So if everybody is here, they made their tops, they're already tucked it into the back. Uh, let me just make this look uniform. Okay. Last tuck is this very top. 
And this one, um, you start with the left, fold it over and under. Again, over, under. Make your angled cut. And start tucking in. Tuck it into the top one first. It's gonna do this, which is okay. You just gotta make your, uh, make it fall back into that fold again. Oops. Two tucks should be good for that. This one is going to go over the right side over and back down again like that. Over and tuck under and down. So now you're making these diamonds. The top one has has these as well. So go ahead and make your angled cut. And tucking. That's the last tuck. If you're there, after that, you're just cutting. Before I cut, because I might need to take out um, Eileen. Yeah, you want to hold it up again? So I just want to oh, double check. Sorry. I was looking, checking it out. Uh, turn it to the back one more time, sorry. Yeah, and then what happened over there? Okay, so you see the one on the, if you turn it towards you again, it's on your left side. Okay. This side, I think. Yeah. So you, you got to have this showing. I think yours is not showing. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I think I pulled it in. I pulled it in this way. Yeah. Uh, I actually made a mistake at the bottom, but I don't want to take it off. <laughs> For the very, very first cross. Oh, okay. Because I didn't go under the um, the ohe. How's, should I make it tighter? Okay. Um, to bring it down a little, I can't really see it. Oh, no, that's okay. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this one here, I went underneath the lao. I didn't go underneath the ohe, but it was like, by the time I realized it, it was was way up at the top. Uh, at least you know uh, where the mistake was. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I'm assuming everybody had done their tucking in, I hope. Um, How's everybody else doing? I see a lot of people had to 
sign off, yeah? Uh, can I have? Yes, who's talking? Oh, Jamie. Jamie. Just uh, checking in. So all these tails are just getting cut, yeah? Yes. Okay. And to cut it, you can use a blade like I showed earlier. Or essentially you wanna use like a, a exacto knife. But this is all I had. So if you use a blade like this, you can just put it at the edge right here. And then just cut it clean, make a clean cut. Okay, I'm gonna start cutting. What if, what if we were to cut it a little longer and stick it underneath the little corners? Is that bad? Um, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Instead of just cutting it off, if you just left it long to the to the end of the line, the row, and then tuck it underneath the, you know how it folds over in the corner? Yeah, no, that's not gonna work because it's gonna come out. Well, okay. Just asking. <laughs> yeah, we want to secure it. Almost there, gang. Thank you for your patience today. <laughs> I'm glad we could get through it. Um, and it's okay if you didn't, you know, it, it was a, it was, it was kind of a lot for such a short time. And I think we have the recording. This part is always satisfying, cutting it all off. I find there's part of me that doesn't want to cut off the tail. <laughs> yeah, you got to cut it. <laughs> like it could be a whip, you know? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> no or whips. not. Or not, or not. Definitely not the function of this. But good imagination. Hi. On the ends one, like when you tucked it for all the ones that come out that's on the top of the like this one. Yes. When I when I tuck it to the back, do I flip it down like how so that those all those triangles stay? You see, so flip it over to the other side. Yeah, see I tucked this one wrong. Like this one. Oh, I see. Do I tuck it down? Okay. Ooh. Like when it comes in the front. Right. Yes. Okay, you can try. It. Yeah, do that. And then, so the back has that triangle. Do I go down and tuck it, or do I just come straight across but cover that triangle? No, no. Uh, turn it around again. Sorry. This is the front. 
and try to pull it all the way back. Uh, pull it uh, to the, yeah, like that. No, no, yeah. To the front or to the back? Yeah, towards me, towards me. Um, to pull it all the way to like in, to the crease, yeah. Oh, just cut that off, Kai. Oh, so you cut it from the front? Yeah, cut it from the front. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. No, good question. Okay, who's Paul? <laughs> Show me your peahi. How does it look? Yay! Does it have some waft? <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's a color kind of mine for the, the short ohe and, you know, ending a little higher, but it's okay. You got the process from beginning to end. And if you make this again, you, you just gotta make a longer ohe. That's always my challenge. I'm just gonna be upfront and honest is how long do you make the handle and how many corners do you make? And where is it gonna end? And how long do you make the, the ohe? So I'm constantly figuring that out and mahalo for your patience and all of it. That was really a good class. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, no, thank you guys. How does it how does it look, uh, Eileen? Paul. Oh, oh. not <laughs> oh, it was all your that's first time. Okay. What little gaps? <laughs> but that's okay. I have gaps too. <laughs> Kahia. This, this is Jamie. I'm curious to know more about the actual use of this object. It's just it. Is there a specific use for it? Yeah, to cool you down when you're hot. Yeah, yeah. Perfect timing. Exactly. Okay, I'm going to go pick up the keiki. Thank you so much. Aloha. Okay, Jamie. Mahalo, Mui. Take care. Okay, mahalo, Jamie. Mahalo. Aloha. Bye. Okay, so it looks like we are half an hour uh, left. So I know some of you asked to um, view the video, which is totally fine. You guys can, can go back and, and get each step, but just to honor everybody's time, we're gonna um, close up. And if there's no last minute questions on this process, anybody have any last minute questions? We have a few that hung on to the end. Thank you guys. Yeah. But if Where's not, I, um, if not, can, you guys can all hold up. Oh, sorry, Eileen, go oh, ahead. I was just wondering if you could measure, if you have a half inch strip and you measure your ohe and then you calculate how many, <clears throat> how many times you'd be going across. Yeah. I don't know. I no, that, that could work. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'm not a math person, so how am I smoking off the number? But you guys got the steps, main thing. Oh, it looks good, Kai. Okay, so I like to call this design and other people too. I like to call this the hahalua or a manta ray. Kind of looks like a manta ray. And yeah, um, it's just one of my favorite styles to make. So if we can all just hold up whoever is left and can put on your screens and who's Paul, we can hold it up to the camera and take a screenshot. Ipo's computer ended up turning off, so I have her on video chat. So we'll just take pictures of ours and send it to you if that's okay. Awesome, okay, no, thank you for helping her out. Okay, so um, I'm gonna take a screenshot on my end. Um, Kamaile and I'll, I'll send it over to you guys. Or if you can, you can take one too on your end. Okay, mahalo. If command three. <laughs> okay, makoko. You know, aka. Kahilua. Olu. Okay, great. Mahalo, mahalo. Thank you. Mahalo. Okay.
stick around for a little bit because we do have a survey for you guys. The survey really helps to keep these workshops going. Let me switch my camera so I can. Oh, hi guys. <laughs> okay, yeah, the, the survey just really helps to keep these workshops going. And if you guys can just take a moment, we, I wanted to end a little bit early. So you guys do have a little bit time to fill it out. And just wanted to, to end and say mahalo nui kako for your patience and finishing. Wow, that's pretty awesome. You guys finished this in how many hours in one day? I was quite accel accelerated. So um, for those of you who this was your first time, you know, congratulations. You, you finally made something with Laohala and I hope you can keep this practice going and seek out more practitioners in your community to, to learn more. Um, and for those of you who, who have done Laohala before, mahalo nui for joining again. And, and you know, like I said in my slide, aohe pauka ike ikahala ho'okahi, that not all knowledge is taught in one school. And if, if the practitioner is willing to share, why not um, take that opportunity to learn? So, yeah, just want to mahalo my friends and my ohana who jumped on and all of you for, if I met you for the first time. Thank you guys. And um, I'll, I'll see you around with your peahi. <laughs> Looking good. Mahalo kahea. Mahalo kahea. Thank you kahea. Mahalo kahea. Yeah, mahalo kahea for sharing it, Ike, and with all of us and everyone for pivoting. And even though we had some technical challenges, mahalo for sticking sticking it out um, and joining us today. And uh, we put the survey link in the chat, um, so you can go ahead and take a. It's just a few questions, um, to, like Kahea was saying, to help us um, continue on offering these kind of workshops to community. So mahalo. Hey, aloha kako. Hui ho. Hui ho. Hui ho. Hui ho.